What's the podcast, people? Hoop Concession Podcast was a 55 back in the podcast. Uh, we have quite a few topics to talk about today. Uh, how's everyone's day so far, man? It's been it's incredible. Beautiful. Uh, it's, man, honestly, it might end on a sad note because the Steelers are just looking terrible already. Uh, but, you know, we move. We try. Um, at least we didn't lose to the Lions. Uh, we tie with them. Man, it's been rough, honestly. Uh, yeah. but what about you, Bino? You ain't even said nothing. Hey, man, my day has been great. That's all I can say. Nothing bad has happened, you know. Uh, after the Vikings get this dub, I'm going to win some money. So, you know, I'm chill. I'm good. Ah, man. I can't believe you. know what's crazy? To, they, these boys about to lose to Kirk Cousins, bro. I can't believe you, man. Hey, it's better than losing. Oh, we lost to Baker. I forgot. <laughs> hey. and, and you hey. tied with. <laughs> hey, you actually, that's suck, actually. Man. That's actually not a bad tie because we lost. We weren't missing a lot of players. A lot of players didn't play. Like Ben didn't even play. If nah, Mason no, Rudolph no, was the quarterback, actually, so first of all, mm, exactly. Right. If Mason you're Rudolph right. is the quarterback, I mean, might as well have Baker Mayfield out there playing. Cute. Yeah, man. When 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 you have someone with a haircut like Mason Rudolph, you know it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and he does like to use the N word, according to my. So shit. Mm. do y'all think this shit is true? Like, that he said yeah, that man, you could just look. You could just look at him and tell. I mean, him. like, no, no racist shit, no racist. <laughs> just shit. look like, at him and tell. Go, bro. Honestly, honestly, even as a Steelers fan, when Miles Garrett said that, I was like, ah, I can see that. <laughs> but we'll never, we'll never know. Honestly, yeah, we'll never know. And honestly, it's crazy because like when that shit happened, I was really wondering. Like you know that meme of the Boonas guys. Like man, I was wondering what did he do to make them niggas so mad. I was really thinking. I was like. Why did he just rip this nigga's helmet off? And then when he said it, I was like, I was like, ah, okay. I didn't <laughs> say he said that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <I understand. laughs> but you never we'll never know, you know. I had a pretty good weekend though. Not weekend. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yo, yo, Darius. <laughs> tell tell him about your experience. It feels like a weekend because I was off work, but that's why I said it. At the Quicken Loans Arena. That's what that's just yeah, called, right? No, nah, yeah, it's it Rocket Mortgage now. Rocket, but, uh, you know we uh, we had we uh we had to handle with the business with the the Chicago Bulls you know the, yeah. that fraudulent team right now you know half the rosters out though <laughs> that shit is hilarious bro you got Zach no uh you got Demar De- Derek Jones Jr Caruso <laughs> everybody out bro <laughs> everybody out yeah, everybody yeah. protocol bro they about to run five man lineups for a whole game I, I went to the game I was like there's like nine players right now <laughs> and now Derek jones jr out that's like eight right now so yeah it's it's, it's, it's really rough it's really rough uh but thankfully darius even reminded me like our schedule in december yeah, is pretty light like we faced the raptors twice uh we faced yeah. the pacers that's the easy bloodiest w. team in the nba bro the heat without butler the team. butler without butler and bam so yeah Still i mean granted i think the heat is still better in the nba those are some sweaty teams, bro. Like I don't, I don't and I don't. even 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 like the technical hard teams, like the Lakers. Hey, anything can happen. Yeah, that's the yeah. Lakers, bro. I, I don't think so, that's really uh, that hard because they're uh, Laker, Laker games are so unpredictable, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> one minute, one minute they can blow out the. The next minute they're losing games to OKC and San Antonio. So yeah, you really never Home know. Franchise. Uh, but yeah, man, y'all ready to get this shit started? Yeah, let's start with the first topic. Yes, sir. So, reported by Shams. The United Pacers are finally blowing it up, bro. It's about damn time. Finally! It's about damn time after what? What was the last time they were actually, like, dog shit? It's been... been Uh, I believe believe it was sometime in the 1980s. Yeah, I mean, dog shit. Feels like it. (laughs) They've always been, like, this mediocre team, bro. Like, this... Like meaty, they either like are really good, which they had their times, or they were really good. Yeah, they made they've the had their ups. They've had yeah, they made Miller the finals. Days. They made the conference finals, but like usually they're like so mid, and it's been killing me. Cause I'm just gonna tell you this right now. That's the main reason why I didn't like the Pacers. I that's the main reason why I didn't like the Magic for a minute because I was like, what's your direction? You know what I mean? What you're trying to do? And they're just being mediocre. They have all these players. They have a team filled with quality role players. Like some very very good quality role players, and they're just mediocre. Always fifteenth best offense, fifteenth best defense, fifteenth uh, <laughs> in three point shooting, 
just yeah. mediocre. Forty-one and forty-one. You know, like <laughs> mediocre as <laughs> <as well. laughs> So I'm happy to see them blowing it up, man. I'm so happy, yeah. like I, make I a change. Too, you know, I am too. I, I, I every year. I, <laughs> I am too, bro. Like I, I've I've been very. Uh, it's like. I, I want to say disappointed with the Pacers, but like you, you just come to like accept what they are because they've been like this forever. Like they've had their highs. They had the Reggie Miller era, you know, where they went to the finals, I believe in 2000 and other years where they battled with teams like the Knicks and uh, the Bulls um, and obviously the Paul George era. But after Paul George left, they got Oladipo. And I've still maintained that if Oladipo didn't battle a lot of injuries, they could have been legit contenders in the East, like even right now. Mm -hmm. Because they had a squad. Like, if they were fully healthy, T.J. Warren, DeMontis Sabonis, who's one of the best players at his position, Miles Turner, one of the best rim protectors in basketball, Mm -hmm. Oladipo, who you could argue at his peak, was a top 10 player. You know, with that squad that they had, T.J. Warren, uh, I think they drafted Aaron Holiday as well. I like the Aaron Holiday draft, even though, you know, he's kind of a whatever uh, role player. Uh, But nonetheless, they had a squad on their hands. They could have done something, but, you know, injuries derailed a lot of that. And I think that last year... They last year last year should have been a clear indicator to blow it up. You know, there were already years before they should have blown up, but last year, like I get that you're battling injuries, but that TJ Warren injury oh my god, though. That TJ Warren injury, bro, it was already looking really rough. Wasn't gonna hit the bubble heights ever again. So I just don't know what they what took them so long because they have so many tradable players, so many. And if they traded all their players, they could get so many assets and young players to where they'd be in the exact same position they're in right now anyway, which is a team that's not even a play-in team. I think they're like, what, the 13th seed in the East? They're so, um, the, yeah, the 13th seed. I mean, they're not like, so, they're not like dog shit. It's just, it just they, uh, yeah, that, that team, like I said, this is the reason why I had them pretty low, like before the season starts. Like that team is just never healthy. Despite yeah. the talent, mm-hmm. despite the talent, yeah. and that East is they have flat foot bro. So there's no point. There's no point. Sabonis, so I don't like from they they have very tradable pieces and very valuable pieces. Um, Sabonis so and Miles Turner, those are two players in my opinion I don't like for um, um, personal reasons. Like Sabonis, so for me, um, if you have a big man who's that bad of defensive, like defensively, I just don't think you can really win that many like you can i don't think you can go far into a playoff series with that and then for miles turner there's a reason why he's been all in all these trade talks and he's just never been traded in the first place um i don't really value him as a stretch five like that um many mm-hmm. people do but i consider him somewhat of a fake shooter like <laughs> i'm completely fine with uh leaving him open sometimes i but, mean this year he's making people pay though He's, he's shooting forty seven three, but I'm not gonna fall for that, bro. Nah, bro, you shouldn't fall for that. It's a, I mean, it's but if he's if he's knocking him down, he's knocking him down. You gotta give him credit. I'm gonna give him credit this year, right? He's obviously shooting better, but still, it's still a Genjutsu, bro. He's he's fooling. It's gonna lose. Come on, man. man. Give him. I mean, give him. I mean, hey, I'm good, bro. I'll let I'm Bino. Good. I'll let Bino react to this first. I want to know what all y'all think, but Bino, you can go first. This nigga thinks that the Pacers are holding him back. Like, yeah. do y'all think the Pacers are holding him back? But you know what Ew. you think? Hey, I, when I Turner? first seen the quote, I was, I was like, yeah, Miles Turner said that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, read the read the quote out for us, Jason. I'll read the quote. Oh, Jason, you got okay. it. I don't, oh, have, I got I don't it. have it. I don't have it pulled up. But, yet. but Bino, know. you go ahead and uh, explain while I find the quote. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna say, I I am a believer in Miles Turner, and I feel like I I can kind of understand like his quote kind of didn't make sense to me because yeah, because they, they hold on before. My bad, yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off. But let me read the quote real quick. Yeah, yeah, It says, it's clear... Oh, my God. It's clear that I'm not valued as anything more than a glorified role player here. And I want something more. More opportunity. I'm not valued as much... I'm not valued as more than a rotational role player. I hold myself in higher regard than that. I mean, so, yeah, go okay. ahead. You know, my, re- my reply to that is... Any team that he goes to, or at least most of them... That's exactly how you're going to be seen. Maybe, maybe now you're just <laughs> gonna get show. You're gonna get shown more love on like a national level, especially if you go to like a bigger market. But you go to Charlotte, your role is gonna be protect that rim and space the floor for Lamelo Ball and Miles Bridges and and the rest of them boys. All right. And if you go to the Warriors, your job is gonna be space the floor, 
set some off ball screens, my nigga, get some rebounds, and you're not even good at that. So, it's <laughs> <laughs> fine for him to think that because of self respect, obviously, but like, yeah, let's, like let's, I like the mindset, but you, you, at the end of the day, that's just what you are. Let, let's be honest. Like, now, do you want to do his, it for a winning basketball team? Fine, that's it. Bro. What's his like? <laughs> if he values val- val- himself <laughs> as like an all star or something like that, right? Like, what what do you see as Miles Turner's like peak as a player? As a like a like I don't think I would say I would uh, say an all star. I would say an all star, but I just think he, he would get an all star nod if he was on like the Warriors from like the beginning of the season playing this playing an elite defense yeah. type shit. Like, I, I think I think. His like he'd have to be like major. a top seed. I think his peak is obviously he'd have to be in the right situation where he doesn't have too much of a load on defense, but maybe defensive player of the year, maybe. And like I don't think that's even gonna happen. Obviously, or at least an all like defensive a team because he's he's been complaining about getting snubbed. Has for he years. ever? Yeah, he, I don't think he's ever made an all defensive team. Right? Yeah, he he's been complaining yeah, about getting snubbed. That that's because the reason why he don't make all defensive teams is because he gets injured so much. Like people don't know about that. He starts the season. He starts the season the same way every year, bro. Lead the league in blocks. (laughs) Miss two months. Come (laughs) back. (laughs) (laughs) And it's wild because, like, I remember, like, there's like this weird thing where sometimes he gets voted as a forward, and sometimes he gets voted as a center. And uh, it's weird because he's a center. That that's what he is. And I remember, I'm old enough to remember when he came out of Texas. So many people were high on Miles Turner. Like, I remember when there was a debate between him and Porzingis, who was going to be the better big. Ironically, neither of them really panned out the way I think a lot of people thought they would. Uh, but, yeah, I, Miles Turner, y'all can say this shit about self-confidence. Yeah, it's cool to have that. But sometimes you have to have some self-awareness. And if you think you're that good, bro, you need to really evaluate what you've done over the last couple of years of your career. Let me let me ask. Uh, let me ask. Uh, uh, do y'all think uh, Miles Turner is like a top 10 center right now? I think he's borderline no. top ten. Top ten. I mean, I would have to actually look at the top. He's, is he better than Valanciunas? No. Uh, no. He's is Valanciunas the top ten center to y'all? Yes. Yeah, he is. If he is, where is he? Like number ten? Nine. I don't know. I don't know. Like I have nine. to do my rankings. Nine. Like, I, I yeah. can't just come over. Think about it. And 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 okay, let's. Okay, that's fine. Because I was gonna say some other bigs, but let me ask y'all this: When Brook Lopez is healthy, fully healthy. And let's say he's playing at his best, right? Who would you rather have, Brook Lopez, Brooke Lopez or Miles Turner? Easy, Brook Lopez. Like this, this is the thing about Miles Turner. Right? Then that should tell you all you need to know about Miles Turner. Go yeah, like Miles Turner, bro. Y'all are, you know, I'm, I'm on Darius' the same page of this. I've always believed in he's a fake shooter, and I think he plays soft. You know, like I, it's just it's just how it is when it comes to rebounding, going in, going inside. For me. Even if you have another big man on the floor, and this is just my opinion, even if you have another big on the floor, bro, you still should be aggressive inside. Regardless, I don't care. I know Sabonis is not much of a shooting threat, but you still should try to cut, still should try to get inside buckets, not stick to mid-range and shooting threes, right? But I'll say this. I do think the Pacers were holding him back a bit, right? I think they're trying to keep him in that role. Because, I didn't expect you to say that. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, I do, I do. I, I, I think they try to keep, put him in that role because they think, like, you know, oh, just because you got a guy like Sabonis, we're trying to utilize Sabonis a lot more while also keeping Miles Turner's defense on the floor. I completely understand that, but I think there are more ways you can use Miles Turner. But at the same time, I don't think he's as good as he thinks he is. Let's just be real. Um, defensively, even, I think he's overrated. He can't guard a lot of the bigger big men or like the stronger big men in this league. He often gets bullied by them. Good weak side shot blocker. Great shot blocker. I understand. But he still has some flaws on that end of the floor that don't get talked about. And also, like I said, his rebounding. You know, as a big man, you have to be able to rebound in this league, right? Black and I don't just look at... Yeah, I, I don't look at... <laughs> I, I don't, hey, Porzingis gets Boris now, Porzingis, Porzingis will at least sky him for boards. I'm talking about this dude don't box out, bro. Like, he doesn't box out. He don't box out like that. And I don't like that at all. Um, like it, I don't look at rebound numbers just to quantify a dude's rebound. Like, Brook Lopez averages four or five boards a game. But I know he's one of the best uh, box out big men in the league and also grabs a lot of offensive boards. So, okay, but to be fair, me, Brook Lopez is a really uh, – I wouldn't say Brook Lopez is a good rebounder, though. I think I think he's a positional dude, but it's like Giannis grabbing them and like you nah, know I feel, you, right? I feel you. I feel you. 
Lopez, it's, it's crazy. Like, if we have to ask him, like, more impactful. Because, like, you could argue from a talent perspective, he is better than Brooke Lopez. But who's more impactful to the game? It might be Brooke Lopez. Well, I Not mean, Grant. we've never seen Miles Turner next to a nigga like Giannis, though, you know? <laughs> I'm like, I mean, that's fair. On, that's like, fair. That nigga Miles Turner has fair. to come for us a bonus. So. But I true. feel like Turner, though, like, and granted, he's not the face of the franchise. Obviously, they're going to change their offense to fit Sabonis more, the defensive schemes, all that. But, like, I feel like if he was as good as he thinks he is, we would have seen it by now. He's been given opportunities. Don't forget, Sabonis wasn't always the face of the team. It wasn't always like that. Like, Miles Turner was there before. He had a good rookie season. He showed flashes. I remember when he dunked on fucking Gordon Hayward. You know, like, he's always shown potential. You know, it's just never really translated to anything more than potential. Like, and look, like Jace Smooth said, it's like the white side effect. That's what his defense is. It's the white side effect. Maybe see those blocks. Like that, I mean, but, no, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think yeah, it's, that it's bad. not that bad. But, uh, but, but you know what I mean? Like, like niggas see his blocks. They see the shot blocking. And he kind of tricks them into, like, believing that he's, like, this elite defender. And, like, trust me, he can have elite level impact on certain nights because hey if you can block shots that is changing the game it does change how teams are going to approach their offense but he's not an elite post defender he ain't stopping niggas like cat he ain't stopping somebody like Giannis. you put him on Giannis, he's getting cooked you put him on any legit big he's getting what do you say i said he could stop cat cat's not a a post i mean Okay, that's that's, that's fair. But I was just naming. I was just naming. I was just. <laughs> I was just naming legit bigs. I, I didn't even really mind that. But he's not stopping no Embiid. He ain't stopping no Jokic. Granted, who can stop those guys? Yeah, but he ain't I'm Capella. Not. Like Capella is a great post defender. He ain't that. He ain't that. Like I would rather have Capella. I would rather have Lopez. I would rather have Valanciunas. There's a lot of bigs. His post defense ain't even what Stephen Adams post defense is. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, I haven't watched a lot of Grizzlies games this year, and the Grizzlies defense ain't looking hot, so maybe it ain't the same as it used to be. But nonetheless, you guys get my point. Miles Turner, he just ain't the player that he or a lot of other people think he is. He People are in for a rude awakening when he gets traded. Like, Because then the expectations are going to be at an all-time high. Because I noticed this. Whenever someone's in a small market or a team that nobody gives a fuck about, they look at their numbers and let it deceive them. Andre Drummond, I'm looking at you. Same shit that happened with Andre Drummond. Niggas will look at their numbers, they highlights, and think, oh, shit, 16 and 15? <laughs> he has to be good. <laughs> then they go to a team like the Lakers, and what the fuck happens? So, you know, we'll see. We're about, he's about to get exposed. 16 and 15? He has right. to be good. <laughs> and like, so people actually I'm thought, you, that's what niggas do. People actually believe, like, Andre Drummond, like, um, was up there with, like, um, with, like, one of the greatest rebounders of all time. I mean, it's kind of. <laughs> no, he he's a great rebounder. He's, yeah, he's a great rebounder. Don't, yeah, yeah, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get rebounds, me wrong. But um, nah, I remember the, those days. The the layups. The, I think he just. It's just obvious how he gets his rebounds, though. You know. Smoke and also, session, human he, smoke he, session, he, bro, he purposely he's even admitted to missing re, missing shots, especially free throws, to get boards. He's admitted that, like in an interview before. Yeah. So like, I'm not shocked that he's a stat patter. Uh, but yeah, the Pacers. W- before we move on, though, what are some teams y'all think? P- and we've spent a lot of time talking about Miles Turner. Let's not forget, Karis Levert is going to be on the market. Yep. Do y'all think Sabonis is going to get moved? Sabonis is on the market. I think, I think it's going to be market. one of the two. Maybe both if they get good packages, honestly. I, I think both of them are on the market. But I'll say this, right? Um, a guy like Miles Turner would be a lot easier to move. Simply through Charlotte, hey, I'm on the Charlotte train just because I feel like. I don't want he him on the. Not. I don't want him on the Warriors, dog. <laughs> like he he'd be he'd be nice. He'd be great for Charlotte. But like if you okay, Charlotte's actually you, probably a perfect fit. <laughs> oh, oh okay okay. I, I want to do something right. I'm gonna give I, okay. So I'm gonna give one of you guys a player, and you guys give me a team and explain to me like why they should be traded somewhere else. Y'all could do the same with me for one of them. But okay, so I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give Bino Miles Turner and then tell me where he should go. What's the best fit for him? And like, do they have any packages? Like, if, All right. can- if we're talking about what's the best fit for him, it's going to be the Warriors, one hundred percent. If we're talking about where I would prefer to see him go, 
the answer is Charlotte, which I also think would be a good fit for him. But the Warriors are the best fit just because he won't have the whole defensive load to himself. He just has to be the rim protector. He's going to have Draymond, who already raises the team's defensive um, ceiling. Um, he's going to have Wiggins, who's a plus defender. Well, maybe when Klay Thompson comes back, he'll be an average defender. I don't expect him to be all defensive type the type of player that he used to be. I just expect him to, you know, he's not. He's never going to guard the team's best player anymore anyway. Yeah. So um, That's Wiggins' job. Yeah, that's, that's facts. So um, I think the Warriors, and then, like, I think he's going to fit well in the Warriors' offense. You know, the Warriors have some pretty good rebounders. Like, even Curry's pretty good at getting boards. So it's not like the rebounding job will specifically only be on him, especially because on offense he might be out of position at times depending on who you're playing. So um, in terms of like where he'll fit on both ends, well, it's going to be the Warriors for sure. My challenge for him is to be more of a threat inside uh, when, when, when he go, if he goes to the Warriors, right? To be more of a threat inside, to be imposing, because I think this is just my opinion. I think that's what the Warriors are missing. A threat inside, and I think if they like get Miles Turner, because if, if anything, I feel like he's going to be a, like a lob threat. Like he'll get more points as a lob threat, honestly, a lob threat who can stretch the floor. I just, I just like for me, the Warriors. I just don't want them giving up anything of importance to get Miles Turner because, like I said, Miles Turner is a very good big man. He could fit a ton in their system, but like maybe Moses Moody, something like that. But don't give up Wiseman or or. Uh, Kuminga, like those two players, if you want to trade them, trade them for something big or not that. Uh, but yeah, like I like that. Okay, now Darius, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you this one. Where do you think Karis Levert should go? Because I know, uh, I, uh, you're, I you, 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 you gave me that one for a reason, didn't you? I know. Yeah, I've seen the reports. Yeah, I mean, no, we've seen them. <laughs> you like it, Darius? Go, Bells. You, you picked, you uh, gave me that one. Do you, Pause. yeah, do you want that? <laughs> Fishing shot trucker Darius. I mean, I don't mind him. I don't mind him. Not, like, All right, hold on. Would you ra- would you rather have him next to Garland or Sexton? Uh, I mean, that's easy, bro. I rather have Sexton. Sexton's a loser. Oh mm-hmm. God, he wants I to lose. Sexton. I can't blame him because <laughs> this is the thing, bro. Availability is the best. Because he wants to lose. Karis Levert is always injured, bro. The availability hey, is the best. Okay, but now, now Colin Sesson is going to be coming off a major injury, so we don't know how that's going to affect him. Major injury now, bro. But don't y'all understand? Colin Sexton is not a winner. That's the big uh, problem. That's the why word. would you I don't know, bro. That's a lie because the they're agenda. literally winning with him. That is, it sounds like a agenda. sounds like a false narrative to me, my yeah. brother. Yep. <laughs> nah, let me chill out. I'd be hating on Sexton. <laughs> For no reason, years, but uh, Yo, the Nuggets were just down like twenty points and instantly went on a comeback, bro. I love Jokic. I love Jokic I like so much. <laughs> if we if we were to trade for Karis Lever, I feel like Okoro mm-hmm. is definitely going to be traded, even though he's absolutely terrible. Um, but I, I he, he would be a part of it. It would like I think um, I saw this tweet. It was like you either have to trade uh, Kevin Love or Ricky Rubio or somebody because the contracts have to match, obviously. Oh, yeah, gonna lie. A team taking Kevin Love on their team is insane. Yeah, I don't think, I'm not gonna lie. I think, I, think, I, think, I think they would take Rubio, possible. and I don't think that's worth it to be honest. If we're gonna give up Rubio, so I know that 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 and that sounds wild, but like him having a backup point guard playmaker like him, who I know Karis Levert is very nice, but Ricky Rubio is very steady and he doesn't get injured. So like that's the yeah. great thing about him. I don't know what's uh, a good place for him though. Um. Yeah, give Rubio? me another place for Levert, bro. Like, what what are some other teams that could trade him, take up, uh, what's it called, take on his contract, and just like, you know, I mean, Kess Levert at this point, I'm not trying to be mean, but he's probably considered a bad contract, and he's not even a young guy, you know what I mean? Um, but he's a dude that could definitely change a team if he can I mean, stay he has healthy. Two years left, it's not like terrible. So, uh, the the Pelican, the Pelicans. The Pelicans? How, how y'all the Pelicans? That's a nice. That, that's nice, but I don't. I don't want him on the team because he's kind yeah. of. He's kind of old. Karis Levert is kind of like a big. I mean, you talk about injury cares? prone players. I mean, but you talk about injury prone players. That's putting a lot of stock in two players, Zion and Karis Levert, that are not all available. So I don't uh, know if that's the best what idea. What about for the um? What about the Knicks? The Knicks. The Knicks are a good. The good. That's actually good a great destination, bro. Yeah, I think they have hey, bro, he can, he can, pieces. Him and Julius Randle can chuck all the shots I, they want, bro. Fournier sucks. And like, Brick. 
I think I think that would be a Denver. Good Denver. Do y'all think that the Knicks? Do y'all think the Knicks would give up on RJ? No, oh, actually, actually, no. I don't. No. They I see Pierre. Oh no, I seen Pierre like, drop his video. He said Dallas. I like. I kind of like the Dallas move. Dallas, like Dallas, Dallas, move. Dallas is perfect. I ain't gonna Dallas, lie. If Dallas don't make a move at the trade deadline, they're fucking stupid. They have. I to mean, of something. course they're gonna try doing it. It's just like it's it's up to the Pacers if they want. I mean, of on course. The and let's be real, Dallas. They don't really have any intriguing players. You know, like that you want to take. They got. On and, they got Josh Green. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> like, like, what does he do? A, a young guy would put to Josh Green's not like it. He yeah, I see. P- Pierre's pack. Pierre's package was like Josh Green, Norm, um, not Norman Powell, Dwight Powell, and like a pick or some if shit you're like the, that. If you're the Pacers, yeah, none, have these, to go to none of these players involved. interest you. Like, um, I could find a better package somewhere else, but you know that wouldn't be such a terrible package considering the fact that. Castlevert's value shouldn't be that high. You know what I mean? He's probably yeah, a low player. All the money. Oh, yeah. I don't like think. That. I don't think he's gonna get traded because this is like he's absolute worst right now. I don't think. Like I think he'll play better like along the season. So, so I think because of I think because of Levert's value not being as high, like Jace Moose said, the Mavericks could probably get away with doing a three team deal where they give up like a first round pick or something. You know, yeah. so I don't even think they, they might not even have to lose anything on their roster. If they do have to give up something like Tim Hardaway Jr., I mean, That's it. I think, what'd you say? I don't know. He was their second best player in the playoffs. So, yeah, like, I, I'd like, like he's I'd a like good to... shooter, but shit. Yeah, I, like personally, one. I would I would like to have them both because yeah, then you can fair. you can occasionally take mm-hmm. the ball out of his hand. Okay, the, the two players, the two players who I think are most important to keep. In my opinion, are Jalen Brunson and Dorian Finney Smith just because Dorian Finney Smith is their like their defender? Yeah. So I feel like those are the t- two most important players to keep. Like I guess Mac- Maxi Kleber is a good defender too. But if you have to let him go, I feel like the the Mavericks will survive. They're they're mm-hmm. too redundant when it comes to stretch big. So I think it's like like having him. <laughs> I, I don't like. I'm not trying to be mean to uh, Maxi Kleber or whatever. He's, he's a solid player, but. Having too many stretch bigs on your team, I mean, I don't, I don't think you can sacrifice one of them for a, 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 a ball handler, playmaker type dude. I think, I think that actually be a great idea. I also think another good place for him would be uh, Philly, but they'd have to try to make something work with that. I don't think they can. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Mustard, I'm gonna give you some bonus. Give me a couple awesome. bonus where you think he could go. Man, nigga, I was preparing for Brogdon. Damn. Brogdon can't, uh, can't, 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 can't get traded this season. Can't get traded or this season. Why can't he be traded? Because he got he signed in it. He got an extension. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fucking loser. Throw money away. Uh, Throw money away. Yeah, I'm saying I'm a fake shooter that's always injury prone. The bonus is 25 turning 26 for if you if you um, for if you are gonna say like a young team or something. Um, honestly, this is really hard because I don't really think so. Bonus. I've just grown to accept he isn't really that much of a winning player um, because he can put up the numbers. He's a great, very skilled offensive player. But man, like if you put him on a lot of teams, the defense it gotta be it's gotta be rock solid for them to really win. Um, and I'm looking at a lot of teams here. I mean, maybe if you talk get him, but that's not good because their wing defense is already kind of sus in the playoffs a lot. Um, but he would be protected with Gobert. And you would need to pair him with a really, really solid big um, defensively. I mean, I'm uh, looking around the feel, league. What do you say? How do you feel about the Warriors? No. What the hell? You're trying to destroy the Warriors championship? No, hopes? no, 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 no. Like, so seriously? So seriously? No, no, no. I don't like that. I, I think, I think, I think <laughs> that could actually. Work. No, I'm no, so no. serious. I, I, I don't mean, think it offensively, works offensively, no, amazing. I'm not, but I'm not even talking about like. What do you think Draymond can fix him, bro? This, this is me. So. This is me having faith in the Warriors system, their scheme, and what they can do. I believe that they could make Sabonis a better defensive player, right? And just him having Draymond right next to him, and also that's the inferior. That's the interior force that they're. Hey, talking about. Weren't you the same one though that was shitting on the idea of Cat going to Golden State? Yeah, because cast on tier force. But I mean, even if he goes to go to say that'd be nice though. That'd still be nice though. So I'm sorry if I shut on him earlier. This is just a random thought because I'm looking through like all the teams. What about Philly, huh? 
You, th- you think really? that you think that you think that twin tower basketball works? No, nah, it's smooth. Nah, it, do- it doesn't nah, work. That's the oh, right. Because, because just, like that, <laughs> just like that, and B goes back to the fucking perimeter to start shooting more threes. I, I don't, I, I don't even that. think they they shouldn't use them like that. They should be doing high low action. But even then, like, uh, I don't think that would work mm. because uh, I guess you can run a lot of handoff action with them beating a dunker spot. Stuff like that, but even then, like I I'll don't, say I, this, I like their fit offensively. I just don't like their fit defensively. I think, I think maybe San Antonio could look into that. Um, I think San Antonio mm-hmm. has mm-hmm. they have uh, for one. I like, I like the idea because I was really looking at the teams. I really, Yaka Perto is a great rim protector. Um, Jace moves even gone as far as to say elite before, and I don't think that's a bad take. I think he's if he ain't elite. He's the closest thing to it as a rim protector. Because he's a great rim protector, one of the more underrated defenders in this league. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, you have on the perimeter, you have Dejounte Murray, who's like borderline elite, if not elite, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, now, I will admit, some of the other players not the best defenders. Um, but because Popovich, we all know how he you is. Derek um, White, who's also elite, elite defender. Derek White. Derek White is very good defensively. Though. No, he he like, is very good, but I don't know if I would Derek, go as like Derek. Elite. Derek, I mean, I don't know. He's pretty. He's pretty good. He he, he be clamping niggas, so I can't yeah, catch. He, he is like up one. there. Sacramento, uh, Jay Smooth is a Kings fan. Very sad. Okay, I don't know. God forbid. I'm not I a Kings know. fan. First off, second off, Sacramento. I mean, that would help them with some problems, but right now they're lacking wings, and I don't think that big position is exactly what they need. That's just my opinion. Not only that, but I, I just don't think that uh their defense could even hold up. I think other than that, gone. like when and you look at it, like when you look at it, there's probably some other teams that could fare well. But like, I can't think defensively they could. They did. They, they just, just can't, think can't about trade it. for them. Like it's so hard to find. Like it's so like hard Toronto to be maybe. Productive. Toronto, I don't even think Toronto. I mean, Toronto needs a big. Toronto so would actually Toronto. be a great fit. Toronto, yeah. Toronto, Toronto great needs fit. a big. Uh, Toronto would be a great fit, bro. Like that'd be a great fit in the. I think the Pacers system, would take. But who would who would the Pacers take on in that uh, trade? I mean, I don't know who the Pacers would take. <laughs> But to me, man, it's just really, really hard to be a winning, a winning team, team or at least trying to contend uh, with a player that's a power forward that doesn't space the floor consistently and isn't a great defender. Like, now, the and defense thing is what really, me. really hard. The defense thing, yeah. I mean, the space in the floor isn't the worst thing in the world. You yeah. can win a power forward that can't space the floor. I mean, hell, just look at Giannis, right? But and granted, Giannis is a demi. Let's kind of throw him out the window. Uh, but you guys get my point. Like, you can win with the power forward that doesn't space the floor, but the combination of not spacing the floor uh, con- combined with the fact that he can't play defense, I mean, maybe a system could help hide his flaws and get him better. But, man, it, it just it this. don't look good. I'll say this. I'm, I'm pretty – and, I, and I, 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 I trust in Nick Nurse, but I actually, like, I'm kind of – scared from them to be in that system because you know they play like this sweat defensive scheme where everybody's flying out to the perimeter and killing each and killing each other and just doing some retarded stuff right but like i think if um if they were to get sabonis i think they'd be able to use him properly on the defensive end to the point where he'd be like at least an average defender you know like able to hold his we own gotta move on to the next topic. but yeah yeah we spent a lot of time talking about this fraud ass team so <laughs> All right, so the next topic. It, I'm it's gonna interesting. It. It, oh, real, real quick, I just want to say this real quick. It's uh, we we spend a lot of time talking about them because they have so many solid players on their team that could go out to contenders and change their teams forever. Like you know, that's just that's just what I see. It, like, I mean, Darius my, hates the Pacers. So I, mean, yeah, I, I just know he. Too, I fucking hate that team because they just waste yeah. talent. They wait. Like, they just waste their time. <laughs> Mediocrity, it's bro. Facts. But hey, bro, they end in the mediocrity circle. That's At least all, with the that's Blazers, I mean. they had like kind of like a peak, you know. Like the Pacers, you know, they've never been past like what the first round. <laughs> and they have a star. Like they have a legit. They have a legit top ten to fifteen player on the team. So uh, Damian Lillard. So that makes sense for them to be mediocre. All right. What's the next topic? The next topic. I'm gonna let you go off with this one because I have no idea what it's about really. But it's apparently Patrick Beverly talking about Ridigo bitch. So. <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh okay so essentially i ain't gonna lie this was kind of a wild thing for pat bev to say we all saw what anthony edwards said right that he doesn't feel yeah, really I, saw that. I saw that one um, mm-hmm. but patrick okay. beverly said 
if I'm the defensive player of the year, I'm always guarding the best player no matter what. You got Rudy nice. Gobert out there guarding Jared. <sighs> Fuck it. I, he's so annoying. He just you got Rudy Gobert. Own teammate, bro. <laughs> he said, you got Rudy Gobert out there guarding Jared Vanderbilt. And every time I hear he's the defensive player of the year, uh, whatever. <laughs> this nigga, Pat Bev, let me say something, bro. First of all, why are you going to throw your own teammate under the bus like that? Yeah, bro, what the <laughs> fuck? Second off, he this, made Jared Vanderbilt look like a loser. He's in the NBA. Bro. He should know what team defense is, bro. <laughs> like, the fuck? I think he's trying to bait him, but that's just me. Yeah, it's just Pat Bev. Like, we don't even got to spend too much time on this because we all know what Pat Bev's about. We know what that the it, it, is. Talker, bro. It, it, it's not even the Pat Bev thing for me. Like, yeah, like, like you said, he's an NBA player. You know why they're doing that. Like, People, and this is just for the whole entire NBA community. I'm going to say this real quick. They overvalue on-ball defense, and they don't talk much about off-ball defense, like, at all, really. You realize that because You're they were killing Giannis. Game. They were killing Giannis uh, a couple playoffs ago for not guarding Jimmy Butler when he was making threes, right? They were and killing he took that personal. He they, took that personal. They, 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 killed Go- they were killing Giannis for not guarding Kevin Durant in the playoff series. They were killing like certain people for not guarding certain players, but they don't realize that this sport isn't about stopping. What's it called? Like one guy. It's not about stopping one guy. It's about stopping an entire team, right? Messing up an entire team, and that's what Gobert does. You you realize because Draymond Green, and he doesn't even get killed for this, but Draymond Green doesn't ever guard the best player on any on on, on a, another team. You know. The reason why they uh, do that, sometimes sometimes he does sometimes, sometimes like he when does. he's guarding Anthony Davis because AD is playing his position and AD is also a dude that's not gonna kill you and stretch you out to the perimeter and pull you away from a defense. You I mean, know? yeah, but Draymond is a four. He can't yeah, guard. Yeah, he's a four. He's not supposed to be guarding LeBron all the time or but, but, like. But even I mean, Giannis is a four, and they were still expecting him to guard Kevin Durant. Hey, no, it's a double standard for sure. Yeah. I agree. I agree. But, I like, agree. that's the thing about it, right? Like, Draymond doesn't get killed for it. Draymond, Draymond doesn't ever guard the best player on another team. He just stays in the paint or he roams. And he kills defenses like that. That's what the most versatile defenders are supposed to do. That's what the best defenders are supposed to do. You realize a lot of the deep boys that have been won in the past years, all of them have had elite impact off ball. Elite impact when it comes to rim protection. Elite impact when it comes to... Just roaming all over the floor, and that's what Gobert does. I don't know why Pat Bev bring that up. Pat Bev is obviously trying to bait him so they can have so they can get open buckets in the paint. And also, this man lost by thirty. I don't know why you're talking, bro. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I do think that uh, I do think that even when Gobert won, I want to say two years ago, or maybe it was last year. Oh yeah, yeah last he did year. Win last year he did win. Yeah, it was last year. Yeah, um, two years ago was Giannis, I believe. Yeah, but was. I think when he won last year, I I was on the record even saying Ben Simmons should have won the depoy, because uh, I think Ben Simmons' ability to guard the perimeter, switching, pick and roll, all of that, he can do it all. Uh, granted, he is kind of lazy. He'd be allowing some dumbass blowbys. Uh, I was saying, granted, he, does, he can he, he can, he, 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 can he can recover. No, 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 I'm saying he can recover. So like, I kind of give him a pass, but. Mm-hmm. You can say he doesn't know purpose, but bro, that shit is annoying. Like, hey, hey, one especially thing, when Jalen Brown be cooking him. Go ahead. No, I, said- I was gonna say, especially like whenever he guards Jalen Brown. My God, Jalen Brown be cooking his he shit. Playing good bro. defense though, it's just Jalen Brown making stupid. No, 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 no. but but it's dude, every t- I mean that's true. <laughs> Jalen Brown be hitting like turnaround fades in the mid range and shit on him, contested. But, like, I don't know what it is about Jalen Brown when he sees Ben Simmons. Kobe Bryant, but, bro. A secret being. But still, bro, Ben Simmons, he's a better defender. He is sometimes lazy. I think he is a lazy defender at times. Um, but, yeah, as far as Gobert, t- players really know. Like, I know players say they don't fear him, but look at how they play. They <laughs> no, literally try to pull him out the paint. They literally team. avoid the paint. Go ahead. <laughs> no, it's just funny to me because teams literally scheme. Their scheme, they, they talk all this trash, but their scheme <laughs> is literally remove Gobert from the play and then attack. That's always been their scheme. I'm saying. Every, Look if at you the ask Clippers. Every, coach, every team, that's always been their scheme. You ask the Clippers, everybody's firing them in that Clippers series. The Clippers' plan was to get that man out of the paint so they can attack. 
They didn't attack Gobert one on one because it did not work. That's why, I like, sorry to God, bro. But nah. and, I, and I just think the media, bro, like they haven't done a good job at actually, like, uh, like saying what Gobert is great at, like. You know what I'm saying? Like you, I mean, you hear all the time like from media members in the league. It feels so. yeah. they are, they are, and like to an extent, like I contribute to that because I don't like them niggas. Like I really don't like them niggas. Uh, I do be saying go bear tricks at y'all because he does. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, go bear. He he's never gonna get his respect. And I've still said this. I've said this before. And I'll say it again. Go bear is not even gonna be remembered for. Shit. We all know what he's going to be remembered for. He's going to be remembered for shutting down the league. Um, and I think that yeah, was that like... Ain't, that ain't wrong. I won't lie. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's going to get remembered for. Like, these deep boys, he's probably he's going to make the Hall of Fame and everything. But that ain't even what he's going to be remembered for. So, yeah. like, it is... That was the beginning of the end. Uh, if Gobert, me, ever, if Gobert, I'm Gobert and I ever win a championship, bro, oh my gosh, <laughs> yo, I would, I would never, ever stop running my mouth. But I don't care if I... <laughs> Lose the first round and get exposed for ten straight years. I would never <laughs> ever stop running my mouth. I, oh my gosh, bro! I every time I walk into a player, bro, I show my one ring. Y'all called me a fraud. Look at this. Look at this. See, bro, hey, like, get hey, out. what if it was like a that's bubble situation? Too bad that's never gonna happen, though. <laughs> hey, bro, you don't know, man. <laughs> what if it was a bubble hey, situation? Anything can happen. No, it was this league. No, no, They're no, no. I know. I know. Hey, <laughs> I think also. I think also another reason why he's contract. I think the contract when he got paid that money, a lot of people were like two hundred mil for Gobert, you know. And I'm like, and like to be fair, he is overpaid. But I always tell people, bro, if you're a small market, you gotta overpay. Now, granted, Fact. I don't think they had to give him two hundred mil. I ain't they gonna had, lie about they that. Had to, they had to. Yeah, I don't think they had to. Overpay, yeah. they had to. They literally had to. No, they but had you to. can overpay without giving him two hundred mil. One hundred eighty no, mil is not good. Two hundred mil. If Even if he wanted it, bro, if he decides to go to free agency, no other team is giving him Are that. You money. Sure no about team that? I think could it, even it, give him sure that. Money. It, it, it's, no it's team could give him that money. Bro, it's it's not the fact that no other team is gonna give him that money. It's the, it's the fact that you didn't give him that money, and so that means that he feels disrespected. And he's not gonna want to come back. Of course. Look at look at DeAndre Aiden right now, if bro. You still okay? Okay, let me tell you something. Do y'all think that let's say the Jazz said we'll give you one hundred eighty, right? He goes to another team and signs for like one hundred twenty mil, which I think would be the most they could have gave him. You think he's mm-hmm. gonna really turn down fifty extra million dollars out of disrespect? Very possible. Do you think he would, Jay Smooth? He has leverage in that situation. Oh, like I'm saying he has fifty leverage million dollar leverage. Yes, he has leverage. Nah, I don't think he has fifty million dollar leverage. I mean, that's just my opinion. Plus, Trust me, plus, I'm not mad at the endorse. Jazz. He can he can run up, go to a big market, and with endorsements, the dude could make a lot more money. That's a good point. Oh, like, that's that's, fair. What, that's, that's what I'm point. saying. You know what I mean? You, you, players have. That's what I'm saying. Players run the league, so you can't just go. And plus, I don't even think. For what he does for that Jazz team, he's not even as overpaid as everybody says he is. I just want to say that right now. I don't know about that. Two hundred mil is a lot, bro. Two hundred. I mean, two hundred mil. But that's a lot, but, bro. But when you, give it, when you give it to offensive players who are defensive liabilities like Damian Lillard, it's fine. Dude, Dame is a way better player than Gobert, though. But Dame sucks. <laughs> okay. Let's not some next time, bro. All right. I hear you, though. Dame, I, hear you. I mean, Dame, Dame and Lillard asking for 50 mil, and everybody's like, Blazers, pay that man. No. <laughs> you sucks. Ah, uh, the New York Knicks, bro. Joking in the playoffs every year. Man, I don't care, hey, bro. Speaking of trash, speaking of trash, what's the next topic, Darius? The New York Knicks. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> the my New York God. The the New York man, let, Knicks, me take it, let me take it from here, bro. Let me right, take it from go here, ahead, bro. bro. Okay, so earlier this year, and Jace Move, I want your immediate reaction because you were one of the biggest Randall meat riders I have ever seen in my life, bro. Earlier this year, I had a take, and I want to make sure I had I, I say this take per uh per qu- quote unquote because I don't want to misquote myself. <laughs> I had made a comment about the Knicks. I think I had to miss the ninth seed. Bino, I think you did as well. Um, and I said that Julius Randle, he's, he tricks y'all niggas. Because I know who Julius Randle is. He went to Kentucky. I know this nigga. That's my squad. Kentucky's my squad. I know what this nigga's capable of. I've been following him since college. I remember when he only played like 10 minutes and got injured with the Lakers in his rookie season. 
had some okay years in LA and went to New Orleans, put up some empty stats, and uh, then went to New York. And, you know, he had a really rough first season. Then his second year, all of a sudden, he explodes out of nowhere. And he starts hitting these shots that I've never seen this nigga make before. The turnarounds, post fades, the footwork, the ability to hit sidestep threes in the corner like it was nothing. Not even, not even calling bank swishes. Mm. Nothing but nets. And I'm like, huh, this does not look like the Julius Randle that I know. And then coming to the season, I made a quote and I said, Julius Randle made shots that he'll never make again. It was a fluke. Word mm. for word, that's what I said. And I mm. heard from Jay Smoove, he <laughs> was making shots when fans were there. Mm. So don't use that excuse. Mm. Even though he folded like garbage in the playoffs. I mean, And I was like, okay, right, time. I don't give a fuck what you're saying right now, Darius, because I'm telling the truth. <laughs> All right, I'm just saying he, he was, was right like, about that, though. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. And I said, time will tell. You guys mm. will be back on my tip pause when that shit is proven right. So Julius Randle proceeds to this season, and he started off pretty hot because that's what he does. He has some great games. And then he plays like garbage for like six straight games. But he started off hot. You know, he had that game against the Celtics, right? Remember that one game? I think it went to overtime. Crazy shots hit back and forth, all of that. But as of late, Julius Randle's been pretty ass. Pretty ass. Um, even Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Even he in the game that he game had against the Bulls. Had like no, even in the, even the game he had against the Bulls where he went crazy. What happened in the end of that game? He choked in the clutch. but that Missed free mean, throws and turnovers. And that he's done that a lot, by game. the way. Oh, you're going to let me finish, or are you just going to keep interrupting me to save you guy? But wipe your knees, yeah. all right? All wipe I know is in the fourth quarter, so on Twitter, I be hearing a lot of Knicks fans talking about how they want Obi Toppin on the court. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's, <laughs> and let's look at the last 13 games. That's all I'm saying. Look at the last 13 games for Julius Randle. <laughs> so Julius Randle over the last 13 games, 18 points a game, nine rebounds, five assists, mm. 43% shooting from the field, mm. 29% from three, 70% at the mm. free throw line, Four turnovers a game. If we compare Julius Randle's numbers to last year, this is a guy that last season was all NBA. According to these niggas, they think he was MVP caliber. I didn't see no MVP first place votes. I saw Derrick Rose at one, but hey, MVP caliber, most <laughs> improved player. He went from 24 points a game to just short of 20 points a game this year. 10 rebounds, 10 rebounds, fine. Assists look relatively the same. But look at these shooting splits. 46% from the field to 43% from the field. 41% from the field, or I mean from three, to 33% from three. And 81% of the free throw line to 76% of the free throw line. And I started thinking to myself, I was like, huh. I said, myself, myself said, huh. Don't these numbers remind you of something? And I said, man, these kind of remind me of 2020 Julius Randle, the original Julius Randle. So at mm. the end of the day, this is the guy that I've always known. And this nigga trick, y'all, he pulled a Pascal Siakam 2020 season on y'all niggas, and y'all got caught up in the hype. It's okay. But just, I just want you guys to marinate in this because I was not wrong. To all you Knicks fans that think I just shit on y'all unnecessarily, it's because of shit like this. He ain't that guy. He ain't that guy. Mm. But Jason, go ahead, get back on your knees. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bro. But quick, quickly before you go, I just want to say, you know, you ran it on Julius Randle. Let me just ran on RJ Barrett real quick. Oh yeah, go ahead, bro. You know, I was hearing a lot because before the draft, I was saying Redis is going to be the better player. You know, RJ, he said he had a good little season, but I am back on that train. Free Cam Reddish, so he can prove <laughs> that he's better than RJ Fraud Barrett. There was a I, draft. I won't co-sign that. I won't. I won't. I won't co-sign the Cam Reddish stuff. But hey, RJ Barrett sucks. I'll say if that. There was a redraft. Uh, RJ Reddish, would not be top five. Cam Reddish. I don't think. Cam Reddish's just, career is an Anthony Edwards. I, I, I always said this about RJ Barrett, bro. He just like he was a he's always been a hot zone hunter. Y'all know what I mean. The bash. Like like last year was just him. Randall was a completely different thing because he was killing you from everywhere. RJ Barrett was killing you from two spots. So that was the corners, uh, uh, the corners and the right wing. And oh, those corner like, threes. He loves those corner yeah, threes. Yeah, bro. He, was, he loves those. Hey, hey bro. PJ Tucker. Yeah, I was going to say PJ Tucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would, uh, 
the hey, by the way, Tucker, I just wanted bro. to say, I just wanted to say, uh, neither of these niggas can use their left, their right hands. Oh, uh, yeah. No, but RJ. Keys, Randall Keys is right here. Randall Keys is right here. He can. He can. He can. He can. He can. Uh, uh, RJ I, especially. RJ is the main I, one I want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, RJ, uh, RJ can't RJ do can. shit with his right hand. Uh, RJ go ahead, can't. Jay. Randall, like, I can pull up multiple clips of him breaking niggas down and finishing with his right hand. Tough left, by the way. But uh, let me just let me just speak on Randall real quick, right? Obviously, he started off the season slow. You know, like, we all know how it is. And, 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 it's, and, it's, and it's not even just him, right? If you look at it, a lot of the players are starting off the season slow. I mean, Kemba Walker. The, this, this, I'm so serious. You don't want to believe me. Go look at the numbers. Even the, the ball, players, right? The yeah, Wilson I, I, ball. I, I, I already said it's the ball. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so got it. Even, if you look at it, even if you look at it, three point percentage for average for all teams and players is down to like 34, 33%, considering it was at 37%, 36%, and rising the past couple of years. I mean, like, this season, it was pretty, it, it's been pretty rough for every single team. Now, Randall, I'll say this he's obviously not a number one. Right, I said this even last year. He's not a number one option on a championship team, but Randall is still a very good player. And he's just struggling right now. I promise you, he will get his stuff together. Right now, these dudes can continue hating on him as much as they want to, but I believe in Julius Randall, and I still believe that he is too much to handle. What I believe, I, I'll say this. I'll say this. He's not too much to handle. He's actually an average <laughs> amount to handle. You're saying that, you're saying that like, to handle. the teams don't game plan just to, like, they, they send doubles to him every single time he touches the rock, bro. Like, come on now. Welcome to being a star player. That's not Welcome every, to every being star. a star. Did Durant don't get doubled. Oh, every, every star. What? Durant don't get doubled because he can't get doubled. He'll go make the no, fucking shot. He, he doesn't get doubled because uh, he sucks. That's why. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> why are we listening to this nigga, bro? <laughs> I'm saying, like, like, what are we doing? We're just gonna... I mean, y'all gave him the y'all gave him the floor. Julius y'all... Randall leading the Knicks to the playoffs? No, so yes. he's a fraud. Next topic. I, I, I Next believe, topic. I, I believe now people are talking about the Knicks, right? Julius Randall. I think he's. I still think he's good. I I think he's gonna catch on. Uh, in the middle of the season because it's only been like what 20 20 25 we're like, games uh, 25 we're one fourth of the way it, season done bro it's not know, looking right, good bro. It's giving up on him, bro. but it's like, not looking good for the next though the next it, it, it's, it's not looking good but i don't think randall's the problem it's not randall i think the no, real I, don't, problem, I don't think so either but the the, the real problem that nobody's talking well no Knicks fans are talking about him but the real problem is that unfortunately no, we don't care who the real problem is the real problem so it sounds like the dude has, that has had the league and against you see i i even got caught in it bro i even got caught in it. it's oh, evan fournier oh wait, evan, evan fournier, fournier I mean, yeah. evan fournier is the real issue the fournier. dude doesn't play defense can't pass uh i've always been on an cooked. evan fournier hate train bro, bro. Evan fournier got them. cooked yesterday bro dog he always gets cooked every day like nah, bro dude, he got cooked by a rookie you said who? All right, this this game is over. Yeah, you watch the guy. Oh my no, gosh, I just said the Lakers score. Oh, what the yeah, fuck that, happened? That, that, that dude what? is uh like he's not good. He's there. Oh my he goodness, get, what the fuck? He, he needs to get kicked out the starting lineup, and they need to start D Rose. But they all the Knicks also dude, have Triple J is looking like Kevin Durant um, right now. God damn it! And also, fuck. also Tom Thibodeau needs to get some blame for this. Um. I don't think his offense – I don't think running Julius Randle post-ups consistently – I mean, it's nice, but I would like to see – this is this is what I thought was going to happen once uh, they basically got all these more uh, talented offensive players. I thought they were going to incorporate more pick and roll with Julius Randle because that's what Julius Randle used to be so good at. Oh, they right? try. They try. No, they Those do pick it. and they rolls don't. don't go anywhere. They don't go no, anywhere. No, 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 no. They, they go nowhere. Right. They go nowhere. I'm, 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 they go I'm nowhere. So they I'm said so pick and rolls, and I swear the opposing teams know how to defend them shit so easily. The, the worst pick and rolls. That's, that's not even true. But go on. And it's crazy because uh, who's the best player really in a lot of these games? Who's the most consistent player for the for the Knicks? The guy who got the first place MVP vote. That is not true. That is Emmanuel quickly. I swear. I swear, D Rose only got that vote because because the Bulls of Chicago Bulls. It's, it's a, like, somebody had him in a Bulls. Fan. It, was, it was a Bulls media member, bro. Don't don't get me wrong, bro. I love D Rose, bro, but y'all need to stop sucking his meat, bro. Like too much, bro. Too much. They uh, sucking his meat too much. That's never. Yeah, 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 hey, hey, D Rose said it himself, bro. I'm not that guy no more. All right, let me ask yeah. this question. Let me. Ask, do y'all think the Knicks <laughs> will make the playoffs? Yes or no? Yeah, I still think they're going to no. make the playoffs. 
I, no, I, I originally no, had to no, make it to playoffs, no. but I don't believe in them anymore. I'm done, bro. I, I, I'm not giving up yet. Okay, so Jace move. Since you think the Knicks I are going to make them, the playoffs, I want them to make the playoffs because Bulls, Knicks, or Nets, Knicks is box office. Yeah, that's, that's, that's box office. I, so I do want them to make the playoffs, actually. Yeah, so they're, they're, so they're Jace move. Jace move. So I want you to tell me then. We're not talking about playing, but playoffs. Okay. Who out of these well, teams are play? dropping? <laughs> Who out of these teams? I mean, hey, they might not make the play in, but let's, let's talk about playoffs for a second. Who out of these teams are dropping if the Knicks are going to make it? Wizards, Cavs, Sixers, Hawks, and hell. Let's throw your Celtics in there because they're not even in it right now. So mm. who out of those five teams are coming out? So Hornets are not even in discussion anymore? No, no. I'm removing the Hornets because I know you. that's going to – because I heard you say the Hornets are not going to make the playoffs. And right now yeah. they're not even in the playoffs. So that's five teams right there that are around five to ten. So Ooh, who's wizard. dropping? Okay, give me the teams then. Wizards, Cavs, Sixers. By the way, shout out to Kuz. Saw that game winner. Wizards, Cavs, Sixers, Hawks, and Celtics. Who's dropping for the Knicks to make the playoffs? And actually, two teams have to drop. I, I, I'll give you one, and I think it's the Wizards. I think the Wizards are going to drop out. And the reason why the I say Wizards? It, the Wizards are yep. falling off. They, they are falling the off. They're falling off the face of the earth, bro. And that's because... They have some issues. Um, hey, you need two. You two? need two. Why do I need two? Didn't they say the because Hornets? I named five teams. No, no I, I removed the Hornets. That's five teams. That would still be nine teams in total, including those teams. So remove. Yes, two. You, you need two. One more. I need one more. Wait, 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 name the teams again. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Whatever next team you right, name. Said, all right. We're about to slander the shit out of you. Okay, so know. he already picked the Wizards. Sixers, Wizards, Cavaliers, Cavs, Hawks, Hawks, uh, and Celtics. Celtics. <laughs> it ain't happening, boss. <laughs> Dude, just let it go. <laughs> I mean, this, this is the strong <laughs> East, man. What? The okay. Celtics? <laughs> oh, okay. actually, yeah, I agree. actually, I agree with that take. Actually, yeah. I agree with that take. I agree it's with fine. that take. That's, actually, I, that's actually, actually, yeah, actually, I agree with you that take. That team. And, and, and I'm so serious when I say this, bro, because I've had a huge bet on them this season. I was about to say, hey, bro, season. that's your squad. Right. Second seed Celtics? I, I, I said they're going to make the second seed. They've made a bet of $50. And uh, honestly, right now, the fact that they need, and this is just the truth, because the Knicks, they're not like this, right? They obviously have offensive struggles, but they're not. They don't need Julius Randle to drop a 30-piece every game just to be competent offensively. The Celtics need Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum to drop 30 a game just to win a game. You know, and that's my biggest issue with them. I'm not confident in their offense I don't know, because Dennis, Dennis Schroeder has stepped up, saying. man. Dennis Schroeder can hooping. step up and still not have that much of an impact. I mean, he stepped up yesterday, and they they lost to a Paul George-less Clippers team. Oh, that's because Brandon Boston turned into Paul George, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He transferred his. I mean, ass, hey, bro. didn't y'all niggas? Didn't y'all niggas just lose to Shrews and uh, I'm Cody so, Martin? I'm Shit so, happens, I'm right? I'm surprised y'all haven't brought Not their defense, defense, bro. Their defense is really bad. I mean, like we kind of brought up with Fournier, but defense? no, the the Knicks. Oh, the Knicks? Yeah, the the Knicks defense okay. is bad. So, so according they, they to Jace move, good point of attack defenders. So according to Jace move, because he already said the Hornets in the past. So these three things will happen. For the Knicks to make the playoffs, the just Hornets to lose will in the drop first out. Round. Yeah, just to lose in the first round anyway. The Hornets will miss the playoffs. The Wizards will drop from the fifth seed currently to out of the playoffs. That's and the actually Celtics realistic. Will not though, make I'm not the playoffs. Lie. I mean, hey, it's realistic, but I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, Celtics they may losing to play. the Pelicans consistently, y'all. Like, ah, the Wizards' man. defense has I fallen mean, off a cliff, bro. Yeah, it has. Hey, man. Spencer oh, oh. Dinwiddie, Dinwiddie got injured, man. He's their lockdown. Nah, dog. Oh even, when he was playing, even when he was playing, bro, like, dude. Uh, Don't forget, Hachimura will be back soon. I do think he will be back. But, like even, like, even then, I'm saying, like, Spencer Dinwiddie wasn't aggressive at all when he was playing. Like, at all, bro. Like, Hey, speaking of the Wizards, this isn't really about the Wizards. This is more about uh, the team that we're going to talk about soon, man. Garrison, what's his name? Garrison Matthews, bro. Garrison bruh. Matthews. Yeah. Gary bro. Bird. Nigga, I seen him on the Wizards with Westbrook, and I knew he was a good NBA player. The fact that he is on a two-way is so disrespectful, bro. Because it's not even like he's one of those white boys that only shoots threes and is, is a negative defender like Black Duncan Jonah. Robinson. 
a fake shooter, bro. He is actually an average or slightly, slightly below average of who can shoot the ball. And the fact that he is on a two-way contract right now is so disrespectful. Especially when you look at all these contenders that can shooters, man. Same. Look at the Nets. Look at the Nets. Look at James Harden struggling with the spacing he has right now. He is crying for spacing. Yeah. Black and Jonah. Hey, while we're on a black and Jonah, <laughs> while we're on the topic of uh, while we're on the topic of uh, Garrison Matthews, we might as well use that to transition to squad. Uh, what's the next topic, Darius? Hey, oh, man. The next topic: uh, the Houston Rockets. They're currently the hottest team in the NBA out of after losing 15 games straight. It's hey, actually, in sports, actually. Yeah, it's actually the first time <laughs> in an NBA season where a team lost 15 uh, plus games. And then went on like a. Bro, I'm sure that's the first that's time. Actually, in no, that's history. actually the first time in sports history. Yeah, and I'm in Amer- in American, it. from what I saw, it was American sports history. That I that never heard so no weird, baseball though. team do that. I never heard no baseball team do that. I never heard no football team do that. I'm sure as hell no hockey team has done that. Because so this has to be the first. You know, time remember? I remember how sports. like a few weeks ago people were saying, "Man, the Rock, this Rockets team could be one of the worst teams of all time. It can yeah. really be that." Mm. And now All I say is, bro. Hey, hey, man, uh, who was not playing? Oh, I knew you were going to bring that up. <laughs> Jay Green. Hey, I'm going to say this. Jay. The hey, I'll say this. In the NBA was not on the floor for most of that winning streak. That's all I have to say, bro. That's all I have to mm. say. Bro. Hey, I'll say this about the Rockets. Props to them for hooping. Uh, if Steve-O was here, he would have got on us for shitting on them. Uh, we do not let me care. Tell y'all niggas. Yeah. <laughs> let me tell y'all niggas something, though. When you look at the rest of their schedule, first of all, the streak ends tomorrow. They face the Bucks, uh, so it's it's over. Are we sure about um, that? And not, Is not it? Only, hey, you never know, right? A lot of these teams. And Bino, you know, I don't know why you're looking half black. Or, well, you're black, <laughs> but you're looking like not half black right now. No, I was I was uh, covering my light. <laughs> half black, half black, but, uh, bro. Crazy. Uh, but honestly, there's a realistic chance because looking at the rest of their schedule, there's a realistic chance they don't want to January. Because I'm looking at the rest of the oh. teams they face. I'm looking at it, bro. No, no, no. I'm, I, I saw something else. Apparently, uh, Gobert uh, responded to the shit. You can continue. I'll, he I'll caught, bring it up. What did he call? He called Pat Bev a fake defender? I want to sound <laughs> uh, before, Go pull it up. But before he goes, let me say. Bucks, Grizzlies, Hawks, Cavs, Knicks. You know, Knicks be folding. But Knicks, Pistons. Kate owns Jalen Green, so that's all I have to say. Uh, that's a winnable game. They could w- beat the Pistons. They the are Bulls. The Bulls. Oh, let's just pray. Yes, they're gonna beat the again. Bulls. No, they're not. Shut up. No, y'all, have, not. y'all have COVID. Y'all have COVID, bro. Oh, but right. by then it'll be December twentieth, bro. Hopefully players will be back by then. Oh, okay. Uh, the Bucks again. Pacers. You know, that's kind of a whatever. Hornets. Lakers. Heat, Nuggets, Sixers, Wizards, Mavs, Wolves, Spurs, Kings. Spurs and Kings, that's midseason. Um, so there's a good chance they may not they may go on another losing streak again. There's a good chance that might actually happen again. Um but yep. yeah, props to them. Let me say something to these Rockets fans. Y'all be getting on Coach Silas, and yes, Coach Silas did make adjustments, but you can't be mad at him for playing veterans. I, I keep hearing so many of these Rockets. Fans saying, "Oh, why is it uh, that Daniel Tice was getting minutes, or Daniel House, or all these other guys?" And I keep telling y'all because they'll be like, "Oh, the rebuild. That's not how you rebuild." I'm like, "That is how teams rebuild. Unless a rookie was like a top five to ten pick, and they were just that good, they're not gonna start immediately. Sometimes they're gonna get some DMPs. Donovan Mitchell, for example, he didn't come out the gate starting. Jimmy Butler, late first round pick." Similar to Josh Christopher. He didn't come out there starting. Like, that's how these things work, bro. Sangoon just came from Europe. You think he's just going to come out the gates and just start getting starters minutes? That's not how this shit works, man. Sure, you could say at certain points he should have tried things out. 15-game losing streak. But it's 15 games. Mm -hmm. 15 games in the season, bro. Be patient. Like, the fact that they wanted this nigga fired after not, not even a quarter of the season in. It's insane to me because Brett Brown didn't get this treatment, bro. I'm telling you this, Brett Brown never got criticized for the Sixers being bad, and yeah, they were bad. 
but, no, but I'll, because I'll, I'll say this because I'll black. Say this. We, we all know how the black head coaches go. They always I, get the worst situations and get all the blame. Mm. I'll, I'll, I'll say go this. Ahead. I'll say this about the Salah situation than this Brett Brown. I don't like that comparison because everybody knew the Brett Brown uh, led Sixers were going to be bad, and that was their goal. This Rockets team, I can't lie. They were – they're way better than their record suggests, right? Uh, like, let's just be real. It's just the truth. But um, I'll say this, I don't though. think – I don't – but be real. Are you like, saying like, that on name value or are you saying that on actually I, I, how I'm good I'm saying that on name and player value. Like, you just have – they have too much talent. They had too much talent. That's, but that's the thing, 16, bro. You know? We're – I feel like we're overrating the player value based on the name. Like, who, we're who, overrating who KPJ. Overrated? Oh yeah, KPJ was over. I'll say this. I'll say this. KPJ, bro, from the start of the season, you know, let's just be real. That like Derry said, this dude would be out the league without that fifty point game, bro. He'd be on the streets. <laughs> like the dude is not good. Uh, Jalen Green. I mean, I didn't expect him to have much of an impact as a rookie besides scoring the ball, and he's not even doing that. So I mean, like them niggas suck. Where's backcourt in the NBA? I understand, but there were some changes that Solace could have made. And you know what? I'm gonna say this, and we need to start thinking about this. I'm just going to give this out to, like, all the NBA fans. We need to start thinking about coaches as kind of like players, you know, and, like, give them time to adjust. You know what I mean? Give them time to adjust. Give them time to do certain stuff because you expect them to make certain adjustments or certain changes, like, after the second game of the season. It's kind of unfair to me. But, yeah, that's that's how I feel. Uh, that's how I feel it should be. So The lake is really lost, bro. Oh, my God. I know, right? That's like, damn, embarrassment. Oh, Darius, you got the quote? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, Rudy Gobert, right? He responded to Patrick Bevy saying, uh, I told my coach, uh, I'm cool guarding anybody. Uh, I trust the game plan. And when you win by 30 points, your game plan is pretty good. Um, <laughs> he also followed up by saying, I don't take shots at anyone. I just focus on myself. I think it's just when you're the best in the world at something, people become insecure and try to discourage what you do in some kind of ways. It's going to happen. It's not the first time and not the last. Unfortunately, you aren't the best in the world. Shut the hell up, my nigga. Don't ever say that again. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, don't ever say that again. Don't ever say hey, that bro, again. Bro. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. I love the confidence by Rudy Gobert. That's that's how you respond, bro. Because you don't, hey, you don't talk to people below you, bro. You don't talk to people below you. Don't worry about him, bro. I promise you. Don't worry about Pat Bev, bro. Smelly, stinky. Yeah, he's below you. He's below you. Like that's and I the same the Pat Bev who got traded that. like twice and. Three days. Hey, bro, he got traded for Eric Bledsoe. So that's, that's all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say, bro. Rudy Gobert. I'm not even gonna lie. He, he should, that would have been a better comeback than saying all that dumbass. Shit. No, no, go. Just be I like, same, be like, same nigga who got traded for Eric Bledsoe. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> and then that's Eric, Eric Bledsoe, but Eric Bledsoe would have said something though for sure. <laughs> Eric Blesso has like, zero. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, I never heard of him. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. Blesso has zero cachet to talk shit in the NBA. <laughs> he doesn't, zero bro. Cause he gonna be out the league tomorrow. Come on, now. <laughs> like no. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be in the league for much longer, bro. I promise. Nah, you. that nigga is definitely the next. Tomorrow, bro. He's nah. I tell you, he ain't gonna be at McDonald's. He gonna be the CBL MVP. Come on now. CBL, bro. Now. You think yo? They're gonna put their center on him and be like. Hey, yo, guard him the rest of the game, bro. <laughs> Make this man shoot. <laughs> nah, no cap. Gobert, he ain't the best in the world at what he does, but I like I who's like better? Who's, who's better? Who's better? Gobert is who's Gobert better on is, defense? Yeah, who's it, better? It, 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 I'll say this right now. Gobert I'll take Draymond on defense. I'll take Ben Simmons on defense. No. I'll take y- Yo, let, let, let me say something, right? Let me say something. If if Rudy Gobert had the defensive help that a lot of these deep – Here we go, boys, had, uh, he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. <laughs> I'm so serious. No. Your- At the end of the day, I will always value the guy that can defend in the paint at an elite level and defend on the perimeter. Nobody like, scores even- on him on the perimeter. Like, that's such a myth. I'm so serious. But he can't defend the perimeter, though. That's yes, the he fact. can. That's a lie. That's a whole lie. Oh I don't know why, God. like, who, who came up with this? The, the reason oh, why it's like that is, is little, this is how it goes, bro. People see, usually, usually in the NBA, when you have a big on you, 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 you stop the offense, you bring the ball out, and then you attack the big. You're not doing that with Rudy Gobert because he has max wingspan. All right. He, and, and he, he had, and he, he can recover. <laughs> so it forces it. So those players just end up settling for jump shots, which most of the time they don't make. 
it had nothing to do with Rudy Gobert's perimeter defense. This is people are scared. This is people. people who say they're scared of Rudy Gobert is not true because they're settling for jump shots instead of driving into him when they have him one on one. And that's that's it. Niggas can't. Oh, niggas, it, it's hard to score him and prove. That's the biggest myth in the NBA, bro. It's the biggest myth in the NBA. People just. I bet you if he was in LA, bro. He'd be a ten time deep four right now, bro. <laughs> You're right. That, that's why. That's why. That's why he's the most frequently isolated player in. You're right. That's not even true. You're right. That is true, actually. No, that is know. true. That numbers? is true. Man, I'm not about to go do that shit again, bro. You know why you're not doing that shit for a video you know last year, bro? I'm not about to do that shit again. You do, do it. it. You don't want who wants to know so bad. You do it. You do it, nah, bro. You you talk talk these numbers. We was talking about. We was talking about the Rockets. Fuck these numbers. Yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah let's get back to the Rockets. Christian Wood is Anthony Davis. I'm just gonna say it right now. He's better, actually. He might be better. He might be better. With a step back three, you already know how he is, right? A real shooter, and he's been stepping it up. This uh, this uh, this time, especially since he's been put at the five, he's been dominating the game. Um, that's one change I say Silas should have made earlier, but I'm gonna give him a pass because he made it now, bro. Better late, uh, better now than never. You know, uh, good stuff from him. He must Christian have learned from Vogel, man. Jay we Sean don't, don't. Tate, bro. Jay Sean Tate, bro. Jay Braun Tate has been that dude, bro. I'm telling you, man. That Yo, dude, huh? Yeah, thirty year old yeah, rookie. Bro. Let me show. Yo, PJ Tucker would a would a complete offensive game. I mean, the dude is a truck. He can post up at six four, right? He almost had that Amazing five by five game on against, against the Thunder. Yeah, bro, he was he was killing us, dog. He single handedly took over that game, you know. And he's done a lot. You know, I hate the Rockets, but I like a lot of their players on the team. You know, like I'm just gonna say right now, like Jayshon Tate is really really good. Although he's old and a part of their young core. Very, he's not, very nice. He's not, he's not a part of the encore. He's not a part of the I, he's not. Hey, bro, he's one of the best. He, he's easily one of the best players on our team. He's not even close, bro. I just want to say right now. I mean, that's, that's not saying a lot, bro. Yeah. That ain't saying a lot. That ain't saying uh, a lot. And also, Eric Gordon, bro. He's that man, bro. I need I need him in a Nuggets jersey tomorrow. You know, I ain't going to lie, man. I need him to get traded. I need him to get traded. You I, take that I, contract, I, Ace, man? I don't know how it's going to happen, but it needs to happen. That's all I have to say, bro. That, that man, EG, bro, I really like him. Uh, really like the way he attacks the rim. One of the most underrated parts of his game. Just, like, just helping these young guys out a lot. Um, same bro, thing. Yeah, hey, that, that is a fact, bro. When he gets to the rim, he's really good at using his strength to score, bro. Yeah, bro. And then he puts his hands up. Hey, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he always crying for fouls. But, uh, you mean the eagle so, dollar look? The eagle dollar right. face? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next topic and the final topic. Wait, 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 wait. What? Let, let me give one dude a shout out, bro. Because I okay. know I hated him in the draft All class, right. but I got to give him his props. Sang Koon, bro. Been Sang Koon. Yo, he's been he's been very good. Although I don't like him, right? Opposite Enos Cancer. Why don't you like him, bro? I, I just... Uh, I just he said, y'all heard what he I said. Told you he, I told you he's an opposite nice. Enos Cancer. <laughs> Mega Cancer, bro. I'm telling you, you. No, no, it's not Enos Cancer anymore. It's Enos, Enos Freedom. freedom. Uh, Enos Freedom. Fuck that nigga, man. <laughs> that <laughs> bitch ass nigga. But, call me disrespectful, but I'm hey, By the, the way, he's a, he is a reverse coon, bro. He's a reverse coon. This nigga is such a bitch, bro. Y'all saw that video of him not even. LeBron's direction when I, LeBron I, I can't blame him, bro. Up. Bro, do you know what LeBron could do to him in this league? <laughs> <laughs> He'll be out the league tomorrow, bro. He'll be out the league. He'll be out the league. <laughs> Nigga, don't go back to the league, He'll be back in Turkey, bro. He'll be back in Turkey. LeBron about to bring them up. Uh, <laughs> you know, them niggas in Turkey want his head on a platter, bro. Exactly, yes, bro. Things over, bro. Be like, hey, it's 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 nigga, that nigga finna lose citizenship just like that, bro. <laughs> Just like that. Hey, LeBron does control the country like that, though. Facts. <laughs> LeBron <laughs> controlled the country, bro. <laughs> LeBron could be president in the what's the next? What's the next term? The twenty twenty two or some shit. Oh, are you talking about midterms or general? No, no, I'm talking about the presidential term. When's oh, the next twenty twenty four? Twenty twenty four, man. Twenty twenty four. If LeBron decided to run for president, he'd win. So, uh, shit. No, no. I hope he, he doesn't win. win. He I hope he doesn't win, bro. Oh, no, 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 oh my god. <laughs> you know, I actually all don't all think all that could become the president of the United States. No, no because no. the white, the white, the, the white community, uh, the, white the white community, community outweighs the black. Yeah. Community. Yeah. <laughs> all, they're, all they're gonna do is call. Yo, y'all are serious, bro. Are y'all serious, bro? 
Shut up and dribble. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? I, I swear God, forgot bro. about the white community for a second. I forgot they exist. I was like, damn. Bro, <laughs> there. do y'all actually want LeBron James as the president of the United States? Nah, bro. Yo, we I know. do, bro. No, Yo, we bro. Every war. Come on, now. This country is hey, We need three and six. There is, there is no athlete. Did you hear? Did you hear Jason? What did Jason just say? We need three and six. We said we'd we lose every war. We need three and six. Yes, bro. That's a fact. With that bro. negative balance record, anything's possible. Hey, you want to look at his block? And he's going to blame, he's gonna, he's gonna blame our allies. He's going to blame all of our allies. He's going to blame Canada, bro. LeBron, LeBron, LeBron will get swept by China, bro. He'll get swept. <laughs> <laughs> No, Y'all gotta be racist, man. All seriousness, no. If, if he was our president, that'd be pretty cool because he'd be like an athlete, first athlete president. That, 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 that I'm telling cool. you, bro. That'd cool. be one of the livest. That'd be one of the livest things ever. I, I'd make sure I go to his. I, I bet you, bro. I just want to say this right now. No fat phobia stuff, but there'd be no many, no more fat people in America. Bro, was <laughs> <laughs> immediate workout program, bro. <laughs> oh my god, bro. We stink, bro. Oh my how, god. How many fuck smoked by? It's 26 <laughs> zero still, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> this nigga oh, Ben Roth, I hate bro. Ben Roethlisberger, bro. Yeah, Ben, get this, this rapist, walk. get this rapist out of here. Bro. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 All right, bro. The this final topic. Right, the bro. Let's get this. Game. Let's do this final topic. So the Brooklyn Nets, um, they're the first seed in the East. They're doing all right, but um, wait, what's the what's the score? Twenty what? Twenty six zero. Twenty six zero. All right, bet. Uh, they getting smoked by Kirk. <laughs> Smoked. Smoke session, bro. Crazy. Smoke like a blunt. You guys getting hot boxed right now, bro. It's, 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 it's crazy, bro. I'm not saying Kyrie's out, but I'm kind of surprised that they're not even top 10 in offense. The Nets? Yeah. Yeah, their defense, been, their, their defense has been winning them games. Yeah. Yeah, I know the defense has been good, but I'm shocked their offense is not. I know the top half, right? They have to be top half. Yeah, offense. they're the top half, but. I wouldn't be surprised their bottom half, bro. The only nah, offensive player I see on their team is Kevin Durant. Nah, Patty, ain't no way. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Durant. Yo, they, 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 got a, they got a big three, bro. KD, Patty Mills, and Lamarcus Aldridge. Come on now. Okay, chill out. Chill out. <laughs> hey, Lamarcus has be been hooping, though. He's the best mid range shooter. Hey, Lamarcus, I was going to say, Midi? He's the best mid range shooter. Say, the best shooter that's what up, Midi, bro. 15 a game, bro. Like, come on now. Harden be giving them them pops, those pick and pops. They be killing teams with them pick and pops. No cap. They do. But yeah, like talk to yeah, the Nets. Uh, they've been a uh, pretty mid. You know what I mean? Like I, I know they've been a first seed, but they don't feel like a first seed. They just been. Yeah. I swear, bro. Yeah, I like, swear. They, they feel they like a. F- it's probably, like a it's probably just seed. because of Kyrie not being there and Harden playing really ass right now. So <laughs> bro, it's 2017 Celtic shit, bro. 2017 <laughs> Celtic shit. That first was seed, but we know Even they. 2017 ain't Celtics were better than this, dog. Are you, are you talking about 2018? Nah, that's just because I. Are you 2017? Tw- no, 2017. That was IT year. <laughs> IT. Year. I, I, the, the, the nah, IT you can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that to year. Katie and Harden. No, IT bro. was that dude, though. <laughs> IT was that dude, bro. Mr. Fourth. Hey, quarter. low key, who you taking? 2017 IT or 2020? 2020 20, current Harden. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I, I don't Back. know. I'm IT. taking. I'm taking Curry Harden, bro. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. I, t- hey, I don't bro, I'm know. IT, bro. I'm taking IT. 20. Y'all can hate. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't know if I can side with you. I said IT. I was. I brought the scenario, but you know, I don't but know IT, if I can do hard. IT like was that. averaging thirty a game, bro. Like I know, but but be but, real, bro. What is Harden? IT do? was doing that on one of the most protected and hidden defensive teams I have ever seen, bro. Yeah, they bro, hit so. that nigga. They hit that nigga like a fucking zit. And hard that nigga people gets away with it. That's the same thing, oh, right? My, dude, Come on, stop. Now, you gotta stop protected saying by that, the ref. Bro. Protected by the nah. wrestling defense, bro. That's Harden is see. still. Harden is still a great post defender. Yeah, stop doing that. Right. Uh, but yeah, like the Nets are not a real team. They obviously they, they're not a real they, team. Their their spacing sucks. Um, like, and they just been winning games in the clutch. That's what it looks like to me. They, and they're tough defensively. Something that I did not expect to ever see from the Nets. But if we're being real, I just want to ask y'all this question: As their team is constru- con- uh, currently constructed, my fault. Do you think they are even a contender to make it past the second round? Okay, Whoa, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, they yeah, are. I, don't know. I didn't are. think you were going to ask that. As yeah, constructed, I, I don't think they make it out the second round. Just saying. I mean, I that's know. fine, but a contender is what he at. I, I want to hear Bino's explanation. My yeah, explanation? Yeah. I don't. 
I just don't like the roster, honestly. Like, I just, I look at that roster and I dead ass believe that the Bulls can beat them. The Bucks are for sure beating them as constructed. Um, let's think of some other teams. This, eh, I was going to say the Sixers, but the Heat, I feel like the Heat can beat them. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I might, I might be on Darius with this when I say the Cavs might be able to. I, ain't gonna, I don't know. I am a no, Darius Garland right, believer, right, bro. I, I think the Cavs would beat them in the series. They are going to bully the boards with these niggas, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think the Cavs they are an upset alert. But, but when we're when we're looking at the teams that they potentially could play as of right now, it most likely be like the Heat, and I think the Heat beat them if they say the first seed. They're the second seed. It's over with. I'm just saying it. If the Nets get the second seed, it's over with. The Bucks are waxing them in the second round, and I like even unless Kyrie comes back, I really think Kyrie is just a difference maker. I mean, the Bucks are probably so, gonna be the first seed, so I don't. But you know, maybe the maybe the Bucks will. I mean, maybe the Nets will steal some guy who who like wants a buyout or whatever. What but if, even um, then, I feel like there's like you this year, like last year, the buyout market, everyone would have went for the Nets because of how constructed. But this year, I feel like the buyout market is gonna have a lot more options. You're gonna have the Warriors, the Lakers. You got the Bucks. You might want to go to. You maybe fuck. You might want to go to the Knicks. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's true. And uh, like the Nets, bro. Like, like I said, their problems are pretty overwhelming. Stuff like that. Um, and I don't think they can fight through them. You know what I mean? Even when fake shooter Joe Harris comes back, which fake shooter Joe Harris will make a huge <laughs> difference, but I don't trust him at all. I'm sorry, I don't trust him in the playoff series. Um, I think they're even, and if they face certain teams, right? Like, let's say they face the Celtics somehow. I actually think they would lose to the Celtics. I don't believe. I don't even think they're making a path. Depending on what Dude, team okay. they face. Listen, listen, listen. Weird, listen, bro. listen. <laughs> Depending on what team they face in the first round, they're not even going to make it out the first round because I just don't think they're that good offense. What? See, think, okay, so these are the teams. These are the – it's the Hawks, the – They lose. Okay. The, you know what? I'm fine with you saying that one. Um, well, this is a plan. So – uh, let's say, let's say hypothetically, because we were talking about the Knicks. Let's say the Knicks make it. If they play the Knicks, if they play the Knicks, I'll say this. Bro, I swear to God. It's near the end of the season. <laughs> I have the Knicks winning. What? The who? I have the Knicks winning. Yes. I have the, <laughs> the way the Ross is currently constructed for both of them. Yes. I still have the Knicks winning. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> Troll, bro. He's a troll. <laughs> He's not even trolling, bro. I think this is a straight face. Holy I, I, shit. Like, even then, bro, I think the Knicks could make in like lineup adjustments, like even just kicking Evan Fournier out the lineup, bro. I think Yo. they could make small adjustments that could make sure this is on the TikTok, bro. The make, sure. Got the player. make sure this is on the Instagram. Make sure this is on the TikTok. Make sure this is on the Twitter, bro. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say a lot. I'm proud, bro. I think the Knicks would beat the Nets in a series. Gotta get those views up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Muster, how do you feel about that? And I need you to say it just just one more time so I can clip it. I need you to say with your chest. I'll give you a time frame. I'll give you the time stamps. Out. Seven you series, you have the New York Knicks beating the Brooklyn Nets. I have the New York Knicks beating the Brooklyn Nets in a playoff series. Sick. I, with the Rock, <laughs> is there is there I'll one team off, that you trust the them to beat? I have them. I have the net, I have the Brooklyn Nets losing. In a playoff series to the New York Knicks. That's my chest. How many my games? My chest is out, bro. My chest is out. How many games? Pick How many games? You know. How many games? Yeah. Maybe six, seven game series. You know, in a um, game seven, you're trusting Julius Randle over KD, <laughs> my nigga? Nah, bro. It's I'm trusting Julius Randle over James Harden. I knew he was going to oh, say, say that. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. Go act, go act like there's not a top five player on, on the court. Like he's going to do like he's just not hey, bro, there. Like I said, KD not solo squad nobody. Especially, think, think about this, bro. KD and Julius is, Randle is, is Kemba Kem going to show up? I'm, I'm is Evan Fournier going to show up? Play, bro. What you know? <laughs> KD's knees are going to... <laughs> KD's knees are going to disintegrate by the end of the season, bro. This nigga is playing 48 <laughs> minutes a game, bro. He, like, you know what? They playing he, like he got a good point about that. He got a good point with that. He got a good point. <laughs> I won't lie. Yo, yo, bro. Hey, no, nah, KD's been getting rest, nigga. I don't know what's up with your game. Play. Game. Yeah, one game. Is it rest? <laughs> is that rest? <laughs> one, one game's not enough. One game's not enough. Bro, they going to go right back to playing. Mustard, how do you feel about this, bro? Game. How do you feel about this? Struggling to the bottom. Me, oh, me, and, me and Mustard are on the Knicks fraud 
train. So of course we're not listening to this nigga's bullshit, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, you know? I'm not falling for that. Yo, I don't trust Harden, bro. I don't. I want to ask something. Like after said, Mustard's done. Katie was that? Was that? Know, was this the final topic? Uh, honestly, bro, uh, I don't even know why y'all are laughing. Like that's not even funny. That's <laughs> uh, I've, I've, I've dealt with this nigga's bullshit, bro. Guys, to everybody watching, if Jace Moves not on here next week, it's because we kicked him out of the pod for that dumbass. <laughs> <thing. laughs> that actually might be that might be the oh. worst one. <laughs> and there was like, the, out of all your takes, out of all your takes, the Celtics sixty the Celtics wins take this take. You got lucky with the Suns take. I'll give you that. I didn't get lucky. That was I, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good take. That was a good take. Like, at this point, it's not luck because they're still good as fuck. Yeah, no, it was a good take. <laughs> It was a good thing. They are uh, on a 60 win pace was, this season. That was like a one. You're like you're like one of 80. Damn, bro. Go bear. Are go we going bear. to have two 60 win teams in the same season? First time since what was that? 20 what 17? I don't remember. I, I don't think there's a worse take than that one, actually. Not nah, 2016 that happened too. 2016 that happened. You think that's a worse? Uh, yo, 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 that is that is the worst conference. take you've ever had. Same I think I, yo, I can't. Yo, bro. When I because I'm gonna be 21 next uh next month, right? When I can finally sport bet on myself, bro, like by myself, bro. If that series pulls up, bro, I'm putting the. You're about to lose a. You already know. You're about to lose a shitload of money. You are losing all your money, bro. (laughs) You're about to lose your whole bank account. No cap, no cap, bro. Your bank account about to be in the negatives. (laughs) (laughs) I'm about about to bet money I don't have. The moment, the moment that happens, I'm gonna literally not. (laughs) I'm gonna laugh. And then when yeah. it happens, hey, he's bro, gonna, hey, he's gonna, be, right, bro. You're gonna be like, oh my god, bro. he's gonna be helping on our our monetization uh, money. Yeah, but now. can can you imagine if that actually happens? First of all, that the Nets are gonna go down as the biggest like fail failure in probably in NBA. One of the yo, I, and then I, James I, James, I, Harden James Harden and Kyrie are gonna leave in free agency. I will be, I will be would they be the biggest disappointment ever? Yes, yes, yes. Yo, that would, would be, be so bad. Well, at night, bro, I'd be. Sleeping. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't know. What we need to think about though, bro. If James Harden and Kyrie leave, KD is stuck there for four years. That is insane. He got to request a trade. You know what's crazy? Though? He'd force a trade. He'd force a trade. Bro, I'm not even going to lie. Nah, trading for KD, you're going to have to trade your whole team. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you think you are teams that would do that? I don't even know. You're gonna... Nah, bro. Nah, there are teams that. Wait, First of all, I ain't gonna key, lie. You don't know if there are teams that would do crazy. that. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, no, the Warriors can't do it. So serious, bro. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Hey, I'm yo, Giddy you. in a batch of picks. If I'm the, the Lakers, Giddy. Hey, 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 I'm the Thunder. Give them all our picks, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, him, and yeah. him and Shay went in the chip. I swear <laughs> to God. No cap. If I'm the Bulls, DeRozan can get the fuck out of there. If I'm the they Lakers, not, AD can get the fuck out of there. Oh yeah. If I'm the Lakers, if I'm the Lakers, got a AD can miss me with. That oh, bro, that's the most on, I'm telling AD we're gonna have a sit down be like look bro we had a good run <laughs> it's about time you gotta go no cap because at least me, Russ bro. can give me some fucking they don't, they don't your ass Clint not giving me man. nothing they don't want Clint Capella man I'm sorry they don't want <laughs> I'm the Bulls <laughs> I'm definitely picking up the phone I'm offering Demar shit. I don't want to say Levine. We uh, I'm not even going to lie. Nah, the, Lakers, the Lakers ending up with Westbrook and LeBron KD would be the craziest shit I've yeah, ever seen in my life. Bro. Hey, 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 the NBA would not, would not be real, bro. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Do you think the Warriors wow. could what actually pull it off? That? that catch was weird. Yeah, they could. They the Warriors, Warriors, could. Warriors could actually they pull were, it off. They were Warriors have great assets. Durant again, bro, I... <laughs> Yo, back to the old days. Watched. Back to the old days. I'm not watching the NBA no more. <laughs> hey, the Sixers, the Sixers, the Sixers could trade Ben Simmons yeah, in a million picks. <laughs> Nigga, they don't want that. <laughs> must have, bro. No, no, no. Ben Simmons in a million picks. What did you say? What did you I say? Said, I said, Simmons, I said uh, Tyrese Maxey, Matisse. Make a package out for I, KD. I said, I said the Warriors could trade for KD. Oh, dude. I'm Okay. <laughs> No, they could. They could trade wise. They have the assets. Kaminga, Wiggins, fifty picks. <laughs> That's low key enough. Yo, do you That's think? Do you think? Um, what's their GM name? What's their GM's name? I forgot. Bob Myers. Bob Myers. Bob Myers. Joe, Joe, Myers, Joe Laco. Bob, Bob, Bob Myers. Do you think yeah. he had a third? Do you think he planned this whole thing out, man? You, like, think I'd be it. like, boom, third <laughs> eye, <laughs> third <laughs> eye. <laughs> These niggas would be in their forties smoking teens by fifty. It's crazy, bro. I'd be man. I'd be, I would not watch basketball anymore, bro. What's up? What, we're gonna turn into a, a football podcast if that happens. Yeah, bro. Hey, bro. Talking about the Jags, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro. bro.
man. Nah, no cap. We just probably have to start talking about uh, music or some shit because I don't even <laughs> know if I can have passion for football after the Steelers era, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next year, so next, year, next year you get to watch. Bro, you know what it. the fuck just happened? You know what the fuck just happened? They just had a snap. Granted, it was a positive yardage. They just had a snap where they snapped it to Ben Roethlisberger. He ball didn't catch bounced. it. He bobbled the he ball. He didn't catch it. He bobbled the ball. I was like, man, this is Browns flashback. They already <laughs> Yo, happening play. again, bro. First yeah, play PTSD Browns flashback, bro. Yeah, PTSD. That, that is the PTSD right there. I can't believe yeah, that happened. Immediately, in the first play. I thought of that play, bro. That That's play. When I tell the first you this, play of a playoff game. I can't believe. When I tell you, I watched that game. Right. First of all, the fact that they went up like almost thirty in the first quarter was already insane <laughs> to me. But like the fact that like. On the first play, bro, I knew we were in for a disaster. As soon as the ball just skyrocketed over Ben Roethlisberger's head, went all the way to the end, I was like, oh, my God, at least land on the ball so we get a safety. Nope. These niggas, the Browns landed on the fucking ball? How the fuck is that even? Oh, dude. And then we were talking all that shit. Claypool <clears throat> was talking shit. Juju was talking shit. Juju was running his mouth. That's crazy. Yo. Corvette, that Corvette. <laughs> And low key, Juju has to be the biggest loser of 2020. This nigga missed out on a bag. This nigga missed out on going to play with the Chiefs, a bunch of other teams, all to stay in Pittsburgh, and then all for what? An injury. <laughs> so he got injured, and the season season's over. He missed out on a bag and some nice places he could have. What a loser, bro! Big loser. Wait, Even me as a Steelers talent. fan, that nigga's a loser. Nah, nah. <laughs> Ain't no, I wouldn't have stayed. <laughs> well, I, was him, I, was, mm. I was going to the Chiefs so quick, boy. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. The Yo, Chiefs, the off. Jets, That's the Giants. Good. I would have gone to any of those teams. Granted, the Jets and Giants suck, but hey, you're in New York. Whoa, 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 New whoa, York. Whoa. whoa. Nah, at that, I, at that point, at least, I mean, LA, I'll go to the Chargers or the Rams, honestly. You know, I swore you were a Chargers fan. I swear. I'm bro. I hey, shout out Justin, hey, shout out Justin Herbert. Classy I like the Chargers him. fan. Classy I like him, a Chargers fan, I think. Wait, you're not, wait, you're, you're not a Chargers fan, you know? Hang on, I'm a Rams. He's a Rams fan. I could. I, 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 I see niggas 20 times, bro. I said, yo, I, I swear this man said Chargers. I like you, Chargers. I swear he right. was a Chargers fan. Like, no, no. Like, like, he's never been a Chargers fan. Dude. I I when I him, he's never been a Chargers fan. Oh, boy, that man, Jaron Jackson, was. It's been yeah, he eating, literally turned into Ken, he literally turned into KD, bro. Yo, Serengo. Yo, he's. I, you know, I like the way he's attacking now. He's being a bully. Bro, that man get shut out, bro. bro. We getting smoked we, by the Spurs. I can't believe this, yo. Do we? I feel like we should have this as a mini topic, bro. Lakers are AC uh-huh. right now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel like talking about the. Are you sure? Are you yeah, sure? I don't, they, like, I don't care, bro. That's really bad. They're, they're on fraud watch. I, I just want to show you something real quick. Let me, let, me, let me pull this up real quick. I want to pull this up so I can show you niggas that AD is a fraudulent five. He's not a five in this league, and you should not play him at the five because there are issues. Oh, no, never mind. They didn't get killed in the class. Well, no, they did. They actually allowed 14 offensive rebounds. Unfortunately, we do not care. <laughs> we don't. He's still a That's five. That's why they got an L. It's all good, though. Three-point <laughs> shooting and spacing, right? Hey, yeah. I got a triple level. Let's go. That's all that matters. Right? Honestly, though, like I think a lot of people saying AD should That's play the matters. five is based off of past years. Like a lot of, he was very effective at the five. Granted, they have two uh, rim protection. Hey man, he was effective at the five in the bubble, and he was effective Fuck at this, the five. Bro. In the Lakers, the Lakers need to make put the offense around Tht, raise his Yo. value, and trade him, him as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, so that take for that take for Paolo. That, Paolo, that take is for chat. ten. Mi- that is ten million dollars in contract they can use. For a guy like Miles Turner, I'm just saying. I, I, no, I'm saying. I told, I, I was telling the whole league this nigga is a fraud, bro. He's not that good. Everybody was. Bro, I will never forget this. Now. Jace Smooth predicted that shit perfectly. He said, "Yo, he's gonna have his first three games look good. The, the Laker media is going to go crazy, and then he's going to turn to shit." And that's exactly what that's happened, exactly bro. Exactly what happened, bro. You know, it's wild. This nigga, first of all, this nigga Tht had a couple of uh, highlight plays and. Garbage time minutes again in the bubble, and that's how it all started. Uh, I think it was against like the Rockets. Yeah, and he and had then, that one, and he had that one game winner against the Knicks last year. That one game, <laughs> I remember that. Oh, shit. That actually happened, bro. See, I don't even remember that, bro. It, it, was, no, right it, before, it was it was right before the season ended, and LeBron was resting, bro. 
Yeah. See, if LeBron, LeBron never, if LeBron bench. never got hurt last year, THT would not be on the team, bro. <laughs> it's a fact. And it's, and it's wild because they literally passed up on Kyle Lowry, and I think they potentially could have got themselves Mike Conley. Yo, Braun, but Braun the Steelers come back. Hold on. Steelers Braun, come back. Braun. Steelers come back. Oh, they just scored. Bro, yeah, Braun. Yo, Braun. Nah, they just, they just got an interception, bro. Mm-hmm. Nigga, Braun. you must be far ahead of my stream. Nigga, Braun, Braun, <laughs> Braun be giving the niggas too many niggas. Nigga, spoiling wrong. the fucking. Nigga, spoiling the, the game. Bag, bro. Look at AG, bro. 25 points. Yo, AG is literally like. Zion with defense now, bro. It's insane. That <laughs> inconsistent shot chucker, nigga. Shut the fuck up, man. He's not inconsistent anymore. I'm yes, telling you right now, bro. He's God. literally Zion, bro. He's literally Zion with the defense Lakers now, bro. Really 13 really points really per game. It's, it's like really silly me. <laughs> I was at least expecting that shit to be like a 70. I mean, I, like 17. They got it at 13 points a game. Talk about Zion, nigga. Yeah, bro. He's Zion, Damn. bro. He's just not getting the Zion love. You know what I mean? Hey, no cap. If the Steelers come back, I'm actually going to have, like, I'm going to get so drunk tonight. That's number one. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to make sure I get some some pussy tonight. No cap. <laughs> yeah, I just celebrate that. I mean, I'm going to probably do that anyway, but still, I got to make sure I do that for sure. There ain't no fucking way. There ain't but no like fucking way. Let me guess. Let me guess. Who. Uh, but uh, I think that wraps up this episode. Yeah, that wraps up. Um, frauds. And Jace Smooth, bro, Please, like I said to everybody, we, I don't condone the comments that everybody says on here because Jay Smooth be having some wild takes. Um, so if you don't see Jay Smooth on the next episode, that take that that he said about the Knicks and Nets, because I cannot believe he actually said that. That shit. better like, be on the TikTok, even, bro. I'm just saying. Oh, it will. It will. And trust me, when that, I don't even. That may not even happen anyway. But if that series comes to be, and once the Nets win in five or maybe a sweep. You're going to look like a clown. I'm telling you this right now. I will look like uh, a clown. You're going to look like those fresh and fit niggas. The goose. But, the what, I will, what I will say, if it does happen, I will not be on that pod. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no cap if that happens, I ain't showing If it happens, yeah. bro, I'm it'll, going It'll be just yo, the two of us, bro. My mouth. It'll, it'll, it'll just be y'all two. And maybe <laughs> maybe Steve-O, bro. bro. Maybe Steve-O, dog. Uh, no cap. We, we might have to. We might have to. And all I know is if that happens, I am pushing my Kyrie or James Harden to the Clippers propaganda to the moon. Nah, to the bro. moon. Or don't need another shot chucking brick over there, bro. They already got Eric Bledsoe. Come on now. Nah, but he, you know, they pack, pack him up. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're telling me you'd rather have Eric Bledsoe than Kyrie or Harden? Come on, Jason. You don't, you don't okay, want to win, nigga. Okay, Kyrie fine. Yeah. Harden? Harden, bro, I'm about to say Harden, Kyrie. Bro. Kyrie, that's a he super team, first of all, bro. Even if Kyrie only plays 50% of the games? <laughs> <laughs> Kyrie, you know, I, I'm convinced Kyrie a part time basketball player, bro. <laughs> not even. <laughs> not even. <laughs> you hear Stephen A. on ESPN first take, bro? He was like, yo, Kyrie out here walking around like he yo, Moses. Did you see? <laughs> did, you, did you see Stephen A. go crazy against about the Knicks today, bro? He was like oh, going today? fucking. Yes, he was going fucking crazy over the fucking Knicks. I mean, I, I, I actually lie. never I have, seen him that angry, like, with raw emotion, like, actual, like, he was... Man, honest, I, fuck, I, haven't fuck even watched, I haven't watched the first take since Max Kellerman left. Like, I'll see, like, clips. I've I've looked at, like, the clips with J.J. Reddick. J.J. Yeah, Reddick yeah. be stunning that nigga. J.J. Yeah. be stunning him. And I, at first, I, I wanted them to get J.J. to be, like, the legit co-host. But now I realize that, like, it's probably not a good idea because I don't know how much football he knows. Maybe he does know a lot of it. Maybe he doesn't. Because I forget they, they talk about more from just basketball yeah. on there. Uh, mm-hmm. But honestly, when it comes to sports shows, I don't even watch them. Like, I watch First Things First. I watch some Jalen and Jacoby. I watch. Uh, that man, Jalen, bro. You, you already know that. I know you're. That man, Jalen, bro. I had no idea. And this is probably just me. I had no idea he was married to that Molly girl. It was, it was Molly, right? Bro, you're Molly. late. You're late. Yeah, yeah you're bro, late. I, had, I had no idea he was married, bro. Like, hey, by the know, way, they both look like they live. Holy shit! Right J- Jalen Rose still got the nice fade. Uh, Molly <laughs> Molly Kiram looking fine, even more fine. She had that divorce glow, no cap. Yeah, I see. I see. I seen some reports saying Stephen A. hitting that. I don't know if it's true. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. <laughs> no, I hope it's not. Like, no, like, but that would be a major downgrade. Going from Jalen Rose crisp, crisp hairline to Stephen A. hairline is. Crazy. 
<laughs> hey, bro. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that man, Stephen A. Smith must be hiding something, you know? Oh I mean? man, oh man. <laughs> no, nah, but let me say nah. this real quick, bro. I don't know, and this is probably just me, like, just real quick. I don't think I could work with, like, oh, somebody I'm Your, your girl, with, yeah. You know? so, like, I don't think I could work with my girl because, like, you know, it's just, it's no offense. No offense. Obviously, like, you would love to be with your loved one throughout, like, most of the time, every single day, like, stuff like that. You cool with that, right? But at the same time, it's like, Dog, like, you know, you, you don't like too much of somebody. You know, sometimes I just want to miss you, but like, I can't miss you because you're always you're you're always <laughs> everywhere I'm at, bro. Like, Plus, it's a distraction. So, and and yeah. I also think a job like that, like that's probably a that's a job that every single man, or obviously, if you watch sports, every single man would love to have that job to just go talk about sports. That's such a great getaway from your family and just. Being in the zone at work, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Bro. Granted, you're on the road. That kind of sucks. But, like, that's such a great getaway. That's what work is for a lot of people. And imagine your getaway. Your wife's always there. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to do special guest appearances on first take. And I remember that one segment. Nobody talks about this enough. But that one segment where he was talking about uh, somebody's wife or something. And Molly was right there because he was on first take. And she was like... Oh, be careful what you're saying right now. I was like, damn, so you just gonna do that shit on live TV like that? And I got lie, man. She she not with the disrespect. I like that though. Yeah, 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 she, yeah, yeah. she may no, be annoying, not. but I'm killing that. I ain't gonna lie. No, no, don't get me wrong. I I, I like what she did, but I was like, damn, she that nigga on live TV. But and granted, I don't know what he said, so I I don't even remember. But I remember he was talking about somebody's wife. And she was like, she's like, oh, be careful not to. Get in trouble with your words. I was like, damn. She really threw that nigga hey, bro, out there like that. The woman, bro, they be giving me this eye, bro. <laughs> like, they gave him that eye, bro. You know, scare the life out of you. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. But it is what it is. I think, you think he's ever going to show up on first take again? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. It, it, it's weird to, to be yeah, around your ex. Weird. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, you're I think you. Lavar Ball. They gotta lift my nigga Lavar Ball's band. Hey, no cap. I don't think they got kids. I don't think they got kids. So shout out my nigga. Nah, my nigga got out the divorce with no kids. He got a fresh hairline. He chilling, no bro. Support chilling. No, none yeah, of that, bro. Yeah, he's dubs, dubs all around, bro. Yeah, that's dubs a all around. That, that you, on, a black, bro. you a black king, bro. <laughs> that can go on. Black king. Now nah, we we can't say black king because he didn't marry his black queen. He will get her soon. He will get her soon, though. Mm. We, we rude on another W. He finna, he finna go get Malika. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. That's it, bro. Hey, y'all make sure y'all drop a like, subscribe, press that bell, post notifications. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Y'all know the drill. Jay Smooth, bro. Weezy Audit.